What's going on, folks? TJ Lowerman, aka That Sports Gamer, back here once again with a hot new episode of Bullpen Banter. You know, it would be great if I took it off where it says pre show on the bottom because this is the real deal time. Uh, I've got my man, Chris, aka Millennium from Operation Sports, with me. Chris, how's it going? The, the real deal, Titus O'Neill, is that what we're talking about? Sure. Sorry, we're in complete wrestling mode, getting out of it, going back to baseball. All star rosters just announced. Huge, huge stuff, and my favorite guest ever. Please, uh, TJ, bring him in. Pasta Padre's not on this week, but we oh. do have Fangraph's best writer, in my humble opinion, also their best podcaster, uh, none other than Paul Jeremiah Spore. <laughs> What's up, gentlemen? How you guys doing? Is it like a John? A James? We've had this discussion, haven't we? You're getting there. Jonathan. Joe. First name is biblical. So Joe there you Nathan. go. Joseph. Jacques. Joe. Jacques, not like Joe. Jacques Jones. Yeah, Jacques, that, that very biblical name. Jacques. <laughs> uh, it's the French the French uh, version of King James Bible. <laughs> now I'm going to bring up So, these how ones. you guys doing? Uh, I'm good. Questionable about these All Star Game uh, rosters that have come out. Yeah, I mean. I get too hung up on them anymore yes. in terms of, you know, really getting upset. But, you know, I, I got my beefs just as anybody does. Uh, I believe, I mean, I know he didn't do it for this episode. Uh, Millennium wants to start asking our guests questions when they come on. Well, okay. I mean, just just as a in a general way, I mean, not everybody knows everybody. I mean, Paul's one of the more prominent people to have on the show. But so, I mean, a lot of people know who Paul is. But just in general, like questions about the show, Paul. When was the what was the first show you remember playing? What oh, it was well I, I, that I remember for sure because I might have dabbled, but honestly, it's really it's really uh, 2014 because I had an Xbox 360. <laughs> I I always tell the story about that that ill fated decision. I I didn't know, I didn't know. Um, how so, how, how know, were you a big fan of the uh, MLB 2K series? No, of course not. It was, Utter trash. I'll tell you what. Uh, up to like 2009, they were good. I mean, there might have been some okay ones there. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll allow that. But the, the thing of it was, was when I bought my first kind of next gen system, so to speak. Not that it, depending on what what gen you're moving from, right? It's always next gen when when you're when you're upgrading. Mm -hmm. But I, I moved into the 360 realm because a couple of my buddies had it. And when they and we wanted to play NCAA football online, so that was why I moved to that. I, I, and I went from having nothing, just kind of having whatever my roommates had in college, to getting my own. It was Xbox 360. Plus, I worked at Dell. They were running a deal for it. You and worked it was like, at Dell? Yeah, you didn't know that. Did not do know that. Oh yeah, I worked at Dell for six before I started writing about baseball. Oh, so, um, so you're saying, so yeah. dude, you got a Dell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean. We, we we made that joke a lot, obviously. <laughs> Any, anywhere we could, but no, it was uh, it was an ill-fated decision, of course. So, you know, once I learned the error of my ways and, and slogged through some god awful 2K iterations, I, uh, I I when when this next gen, when this current gen, we should say, came out, I was like, well, I'm done. I'm out. Uh, see you, Xbox One. I'm getting a PlayStation. Literally for the show. That was the reason that I got it. And so, yeah, 2014 is really my first, wow, yeah, really dove in, and it was, it was great. And uh, I've been obsessed for these, for these three years since. Excellent. Uh, I don't know. Any other questions you got for him on him? I mean, I think we'll get into it as we go through the show. No, no reason to waste them all early. I'm a, I'm a come at the end kind of guy, so. All right. That's usually when, never mind. I don't, yeah, we're not even going to touch that. Uh, so, I guess we'll hit up on the AL starters to start with. Is that all right with everybody? Sure. Uh, I'm all in, yeah. Uh, Salvador Perez, the top overall vote getter, uh, is starting behind the plate. And then... I mean, I don't, I don't think he deserves top overall vote, but when it comes to the three catchers that are on the team, I mean, I can't see anyone... I couldn't replace them. I think Perez earned that spot. Hey, man, don't forget, these Royals fans are diehards. Didn't they get a? Uh, didn't they almost get Omar Infante into the All Star game, or did yeah. they get Omar Infante into the All Star game? They didn't, but they almost did. They tried. 
Wasn't wasn't he released and didn't he just sign with the Braves? I think. Well, I don't know about the Braves. Or no, piece, somebody signed he, him, right? He probably signed a minor league deal somewhere, but he was he was leading for a little while and then close to Altuve leading up to that release. Kind of hilarious, but also terrifying for what I hope are obvious reasons. But you know, um, I got I don't really have any issues. Instead, like Sal Perez kind of being that top guy in terms of the overall leading vote getter. Yeah. I, I don't necessarily think that he quote unquote deserves that, but I'm not going to get up on it because that's not something that we're going to remember down the line and say he was a six time leading AL or le- yeah, leading AL all-star vote receiver. And that's why he belongs in the hall of fame. It'll be forgotten by August 1st. Uh, WD has in the chat says that I am correct that he signed with the Braves. Boom. He does have his flashback card with the Braves uh, in this game. Game changer. Hey, he was good for the Braves. He's uh, been good for the Tigers on two different occasions. I got I got no I, I got plenty of love for, for Omar Infante, but if he had been on the All Star game, I swear to God, it would have been problematic. Uh sticking with Royals moving to first base, Eric Hosmer. I'm not against that, I guess. Yeah. I don't know what Hosmer stats are for the year, but I mean, I feel like I don't know if he should be the All Star starter, but I don't. Who 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 that's belongs? My, there. That's what I don't know. I don't know who would go there. Yeah, so I'm I'm trying to think like. Tell your Tigers who, fans to get out there in full force. Get yeah, Miguel I mean, Cabrera out there. It's it it be, it's never problematic if Miggy wins. Like I think of any time that Miguel Cabrera wouldn't have been a very deserving starter. Uh, to the all-star games. So yeah, they, they kind of botched that one they, If they could have gotten him in, that would have been a pretty good idea uh, for, for them. But you know, I, I'm not freaking out that Hosmer ended up taking that one. You know, there are some, it, it ended up being what basically Casey, uh, Casey Boston and, and the Cubs that really dominated these all-star votes. And the KC ones are, are pretty innocuous with those two guys getting it. And I don't think Kane ended up winning. He no, was he leading doesn't. for a while, so they only got the two guys then. Okay, yeah, that's not so bad. So I got no problems with Hosmer. Uh, second base, we got Jose Altuve, the MLB, uh, the MVP of the AL, uh, I would say right now. Yeah, I don't think there's any question that Altuve deserves that spot. Uh, I mean, Paul's talked about how hot he is right now in terms of batting average. He's hitting career power numbers. We're waiting for that upgrade to come through in the show. It's really got to um, be the 99. Yeah, yeah. Done, it really does. I I don't see I, there's no way he can't be, especially being a second baseman where you get those extra ratings for you know power and stuff yeah. that you that you don't get for other places. So uh, he definitely deserves being that 99 club with Trout and uh, Kershaw. Yeah, and with the plus sevens from IE, he's already a 99. So right. Yeah, and that's true. He he often plays there, but in terms of market value and things like that, there is something about having the 99 on your card that I think would definitely improve his market value. And by the way, I, I did go ahead and look it up since we were talking about it. Since Edwin Encarnacion made it as a DH anyway, it doesn't really matter, and he wasn't going to beat out um, Ortiz. But Miguel Cabrera does have better numbers uh, offensively than, than Eric Hosmer at first. So yeah, Tigers fans, you could have gotten him in, and it certainly wouldn't have been uh, any problem been over Hosmer. But then when you factor in defense, Hosmer usually has has a stronger case there. Although this year the defensive metrics hate him, um, but to that end, I would say those who subscribe to the defensive metrics and those who are very statistical in terms of creating those sorts of metrics, they say not to trust them uh, too heavily in a one year sample. So I imagine half a year, probably even even more volatile. So I'm not going to kill Hosmer on that. But I will say that looking at these defensive metrics this year, that they they say that he's way off his normal pay. Well, and you would know better than anybody, Paul. Cabrera's underrated defensively, isn't he? His I've glove been, is pretty good, it right? Ever, dude. He's I a really cat. have been. I've, it, exactly, he's a big big cat. Remember, big cat uh, Andres Galarraga. I really do think that he is he is a bit underrated. There, I'm not going to sit here and try to convince y'all that he's uh, a super plus defensively, but he's not the slug that he's made out to be. Uh, he can make his fair share of good plays. He at least knows what he's doing. He, he might be limited in terms of what he can do from a mobility standpoint because he's a big dude. But Miguel Cabrera, I don't think embarrasses himself out there at first. Yeah, me and Miguel Cabrera have a lot of similarities. Uh, I also I also uh, fashion my game don't. after the big cat, Andres Galarraga. 
Paul. Don't do it. Not going to lie. I was in, not going to do that, Millennium. <laughs> in high school, uh, when the big cat uh, took that season off for the, uh, what was it, cancer that he had? Right? Yes. Uh, I did rock his number on my high school hat. Uh, By the way, I know that's a, it's a hard detour here, but um, how sick would an Andres Galarraga card be? I'd be all over it. Oh, well, how is that oh, not the Rockies so legend? Amazing. Don't get me wrong. Love me some Dante Bichette. But yeah, why is but it, it should have been Galarraga. Or, or honestly, Could honestly, be... Bichette's pretty low on that list because I'm thinking Galarraga, Larry Walker, Helton. Vinny, yeah, Todd, Todd Helton, Helton mm-hmm. yeah. all above Bichette. But as we all know, more than me, having played the game even longer, it's all about what they can get, right? And, right. and you know, You're telling me you can't been... get Andres Galarraga. I, I don't know. I'll right? put a call into him right now. Like you have his number. I'll yeah. just give him a buzz real fast. I'll bring him in on the Discord really fast. Let me see. Don't forget those Braves years. TJ's all about those Braves years. I mean, That's he true. did I hit 302. He hit 45 with, I think yeah. he hit 45 homers. With. <laughs> Got his stats up right now. Galarraga with the Braves in 98 hit 305, 44 jacks, 120 RBIs. Come on. Didn't you got his numbers up? Didn't he have a big, like age forty three year with the Giants for no good reason? Like it, it wasn't a full season. It was probably like a platoon season. But I remember him beasting, and he was older. It was age forty two with the Giants. Hit three oh one, twelve jacks, forty two RBIs in one hundred and ten games. Only <laughs> uh, roughly three hundred plate appearances. I imagine so. He was a lefty killer, and he just mangled lefties, which is pretty awesome to do at age forty two and be a be a plus player like. that. And look, you could also have him as your Expos uh, yep, for the legend Nats. if you want. He hit 302 with 29 jacks, 42 doubles, 92 RBI in 88. And Led league hits that year. a bit more spry at that point, too. Uh, always, always a bit of a spry guy was mm-hmm. Andre Galarraga. So you'd, you'd be getting one of those first baseman types who actually has some speed, like a uh, like a Goldschmidt, a Rizzo, or a um, – God, I have, oh, Hosmer, the aforementioned Hosmer. Did we ever figure out the stat that we made up that time? Oh yeah, what was it called? I don't remember, but I'll tell oh, you what. You had a great name for it. We we it's in our G chat somewhere. We can. In nineteen ninety ninety, where was it? Nineteen ninety six, forty seven eighteen jacks, forty seven homers, eighteen stolen bases. Sorry, that's a sixty five. That whatever that thing we made up was. Yeah, that is ridiculous. That's monster numbers and... right there. It's unbelievable. And probably like 200 RBIs because numbers were insane back then. So make sure you guys go out to Twitter, at MLB The Show, hashtag Big Cat Legend. They'll know what it means. I like, I like it. Just like tell it. them. Hashtag Big Cat Legend. All right. What were we talking about? Who's next? Manny oh, Machado. Yeah. Somebody here loves Manny Machado. I don't know who. I think it's Paul. Paul, you're a big Machado guy, right? I am, actually. But uh, we're on. <laughs> talking about you you know interesting right because you can go a lot of different ways well th- he's starting at, at third right so you could go i don't think there's really any other way to go but you could have you, know, you could have snuck him in at shortstop if you wanted to but bogarts was obviously voted in uh and lindor's there as well but yeah i mean manny machado how much fire is he josh donaldson probably the only real contender pushing him that could that you could have said okay if it would have if it would have been donaldson nobody would have complained Right. Right. Yeah. I mean, I, even as an Orioles fan, you're not going to hear me argue completely unbiased. Donaldson could have easily been the third base. I think Machado gets more play on TV because he's becoming like the face of the Orioles at this point. Mm-hmm. And every time you look up, he's he hits another clutch hit or another defensive play. I think that's the other part of this is Donaldson's good defensively. Machado is a platinum glover. Like that clutch hit off of uh, your Donovan Turner. Yeah, the clutch hit onto your Donovan Ventura. Yeah, so, yeah right. that, Machado's got the goal of a shortstop playing third base. Exactly. Yeah. Did you guys see that Stephen Drew diving play uh, yesterday? Barely knew that Stephen Drew still played TJ. He was playing second. Knew that. Playing second for the Nets yesterday. Made a nice diving stop because he has those shortstop skills. I Next, only know because I just bet him to my player to get Andre Dawson. So. Next up, my man Xander Gogertz representing <laughs> the Netherlands. My dude. Where's my Netherlands? Something. I mean, again, no arguments. Uh, I would I would say Lindor, who got on the team anyway, yeah, might be having the better year overall. 
But but Bogarts again is having again another career year. A, a lot of these guys we're seeing in this All Star team are having career seasons. So, well, and shortstop is utterly ridiculous right now. And then you get into the, the those kinks with the um, with the must take one from every team sort of situation mm-hmm. where Eduardo Nunez took a really key spot there that very could uh, could have very easily gone to Carlos Correa. I understand Carlos Correa hitting 262, but that's why you don't go by batting average because you look at the 361 on base and the 462 slug, and and those are right up there with with the best with the best guys at his position. So, you know that's that's kind of one of the problems. Now, the one thing too about getting too angry about who didn't make it yet is we haven't had a single dropout. You know we're going to have 15 oh, yeah. dropouts. Uh, you know, yeah, or probably 20, probably 10 on each side. That last well, five, they're going to all. Um, they're probably all going to be in. That's how it was like two years ago, right? I didn't like yep. everyone get in. And they've already got Wade Davis is already is already going to be replaced and, oh, yeah, Kers- right. and Kers- Kershaw. Yeah. Kershaw, yeah, yeah, they've already got some injured. So yeah, th- those are already a couple that'll that'll get replaced, and you know that there'll be guys that drop out. And unfortunately, I'm not trying to predict it or hoping for it, but there'll probably be some guys who get nicked from here till mm-hmm. the game starts that can't play. So and then uh, some of the starters yeah. will be like, oh, I'm going to start this Friday, and then not pitch in the All Star game. Exactly. Yeah, so. pitchers especially will have. Tons of dropout. Yeah. Uh, in the outfield for the AL, we have Trout, Jackie Bradley Jr., and Mookie Betts, one of my favorite Diamond Dynasty players. JBJ? Yeah. No, or Betts? Betts. Oh, yeah, sorry. I wasn't sure. Jeez. Second base eligibility. And I actually like him better there. Tamp down the uh, uh, fielding penalties this year, so actually putting him at second base doesn't really kill him. I think he actually – I think Betts probably deserves a, a defensive upgrade anyway. And that way, I, I would be more inclined to use him in the outfield, but I have no problem using Betts at second base. Those offensive numbers are utterly ridiculous, his statistics there. And he's often pumped up, as he is today, with 10s across the board. So you're at 95, 90, 88, 82. I mean, that's that's utterly really ridiculous. Yeah, yeah and I, I agree with you. I don't know what they use for arm strength. I think that's a hard metric to go on for Absolutely. rating. But but he definitely deserves an upgrade there. He's been playing right right field for them most of the year and has been at the very least above average. Um, and has made some plays. So I, I think at the very least an arm upgrade would be nice uh, with some reaction time as well. Yeah, and he's never struck me as as like a noodle arm. So I, I was surprised when I saw that. Now the one thing that I, I've kind of learned uh, from some folks in the community, namely Cardinal Bird was that that 83 reaction that he has, which is really good, does make up a little bit for the fact that the 69 fielding maybe isn't as nice as you would normally uh, want for somebody of his caliber because I honestly think that that fielding number could be boosted uh, as well for, for, for bets. But either way, you're looking at a 54 arm strength, and at least if you're putting him at second, arm strength isn't quite as important. Um, and I don't know what determines the arm accuracy either. I'm not sure. He's got a bunch of wild throws. Maybe maybe they have access to some stat cast stuff that allows them to get that. But I, I don't I really have no idea. Right. The uh the one thing I want to say is you, you just mentioned speaking to Carl and Bird about something. I think it's so reaction time affects acceleration to top speed, and I think fielding actually plays into the top speed as well. So like we, we mentioned Adam Jones a lot on this show. Obviously I'm an Orioles fan, but he's got a, a plus nine a ninety plus fielding, and that makes his sixty three speed more like a 70 ish that makes sense so, yeah but then again his reaction time makes him get there faster so and you can definitely tell reaction time this year oh Low yeah. reaction yeah you see guys stumble in the outfield yep. starting yeah it's amazing not get that first step obviously we've had some of the some of the over the top defensive errors that we're not we're not thrilled with but yeah defense is very important this year and you know i think they over indexed on it a little bit but better that than it not I, I didn't necessarily like last year. You get to certain points where people are using crazy guys just to get the bad in their lineup. Um, in fact, actually, I saw this yesterday. Somebody had Prince Fielder at second base, and thankfully he was an utter disaster, nice. whereas last year you might have been able to, to skate on that for a little bit. Uh, I, again, I think they might have over, over-indexed on it, but I, I prefer it to defense not meaning much. Yeah, I actually had a, I think it was a Battle Royale game. I put rookie uh, Anthony Rizzo in right field. Ball found him, but he made all the he made all the plays. I actually put um, 
Michael Saunders at second base one time, and <laughs> <laughs> he's the wrong hand for second base. I had I mean, a guy use his lefty at shortstop. It was bad. Yeah. It, 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 was, it was bad. I, I would put him there just to get his at bat and the second that he batted, but the ball found him a couple times. Uh, it was interesting to say the least. And we had this chat last night, Paul, I believe, um, with guys that are completely out of position, not listed as a secondary. Moving a guy from like shortstop to second base, a smaller uh, penalty than yes. moving him like from shortstop to left field because or shortstop a, to catcher. There's like a matrix for it, which is awesome because that's exactly what I was hoping would be. Because you should be able to kind of, you know, if, if you put Troy Tulowitzki at second base, it's not listed, but he should not be a total idiot there, right? Agreed. Uh, maybe he takes a 20% hit or something. Even that might be a little bit more than I would think, but it's understandable especially the de the defensive spectrum any shortstop moving down that chain uh should take a lot fewer hits than if you try to uh, squeeze miguel sano in your lineup and say you know what i'll just put him at at, at second base why not or shortstop and then all of a sudden you know he's a nightmare by the way fun fact which i didn't even mean to bring up when i said miguel sano he did play shortstop in the minors hilariously uh he also played shortstop in el pelotero the uh that, the, the movie about him, right? Yeah. yeah, the documentary about him. Well worth a watch. Uh, I assume it's still on Netflix. Full and green. I need to watch uh, Fastball. I think yes, it just you came do. out, right? Yeah, it's yeah. It, it, ju it just jumped in on, um, what's it called? It's uh, on Netflix, right? Netflix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, also, Knuckleball. Well worth a watch. Uh, DH, David Ortiz. Not even a question, right? Dude's dominating. Yeah. What, what we don't even really need to. Yeah, he's even come out and said he was. He even came out and said that he is regretting saying that he was leaving this year. Yeah, I mean, he was getting the all. He was going to be the starting DH, no matter what. After saying it was his last year, uh, right? And these numbers completely backed it up, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, backup DH Edwin Encarnacion, who we kind of touched on a little bit before, deserves it. Wasn't going to start, but he deserves that that nod. Uh, infielders Miguel Cabrera, Josh Donaldson, who we've mentioned already. Uh, Robinson Cano at second, uh, Lindor, who we also mentioned, Eduardo Nunez, who we mentioned, getting the Lone Twins nod. Uh, outfielders Trumbo, Beltran, and Ian Desmond. Actually surprised the Yankee fans didn't uh, come together for Carlos Beltran to get him a starting spot. I think he's on the DL now, right? So he's not going to probably play. Uh, Wait, B Beltran hit the DL. I missed that. Right. Uh, either he's got the DL or I know he's, he's just hurt, hurt. I know he's had a nagging injury, but it, I didn't know if he hit the uh, I thought he did, but maybe I'm wrong. I'm looking. I'm looking it up for you. Uh, maybe no, he not was, as of yet. Maybe he was just hurting. But. Yeah, he uh, pinched hit yesterday. Yeah, I want to say he's probably done after this year, so I would have liked to see him get that final year in there, but we'll see. Uh, also, Ian stay. Desmond having a great year. Don't be surprised. He can. I know we can still play, but maybe we just call it a day. Uh, what's his numbers? Carlos Beltran's doing like he's doing real good. People were like mad that Absolutely. I voted. I when I did my votes, I not I put him in as a starter, and people were like, "Ooh, Carlos Beltran a starter." I was like, "Yeah, he's hitting two ninety six, sixteen or nineteen home runs, fifty three RBIs. That's, that's not bad." <laughs> no, it's not. That's the thing. That's what I'm saying. Like, I could see Beltran maybe DHing for another. It, it just depends. Like, this is the thing with Poppy, right? Because. Uh, the, one of the things that he kept saying early on before, you know, you said that he, re he regretted maybe leaving this year, but one of the things that he was mentioning early in the season when he was dominating, they're like, why are you retiring? Why are you retiring? It's because of the grind that he has to go through to get the body ready in the off season. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it was that piece that Ortiz was like, that's the part that's really difficult. I imagine Beltran goes, goes through a similar type of grind because he's had so many injuries in his career. He is going to be 40 next year, but I, I don't know, man. You're looking at somebody like Beltran, who is still dominating offensively. And I mean dominating, not just holding his own. He's dominating. I could see him playing another few years because then all of a sudden, you're talking about Hall of Fame. I, I really think sure. that uh, that we'll see Beltran stick around. And he's a free agent after this year, so we'll see uh, who needs a DH, essentially. I mean, he can still play the outfield. Exactly. Bit, well, the... yeah, but you really, you really want him. Yeah, you, you don't want him playing in the outfield, essentially, but. He's played 51 games in right, 21 at DH. But the Yankees also have a big problem with people getting hurt and only being able to DH. 
you know who hasn't been terrible in the outfield and made it the All Star team based on his pop this year? Mark Trumbo. Who Mark Trumbo. Yeah. Ooh. Mark Trumbo. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I was I was fully expecting Trumbo to be like another coming of of terrible in right field, and he hasn't. He's got a good arm. I mean, he's had some tracking issues once in a while, but he's really learned to play right field, which is weird at Camden Yards uh, with the wall out there. So. Very impressed with that. What's his rating? Do you know off the top of your head? Right now, 83, I think. I think TJ meant defensive rating. Mm, no. I'm, I meant his, off. his oh, defensive okay. rating is like a 7. He probably, yeah. he, uh, so Trumbo probably deserves an upgrade, right? Because he's kept it going, and I definitely was out there beating the drum of watch out. He's probably going to fall back to earth because that's kind of what he always does. And he just hasn't. And, you know... Yep. I definitely think that Baltimore plays a role in that, that park, that lineup. Both, both those factors are really working for him. And, you know, I'm happy to say I, I've been wrong. And I, I'm now leaning more toward he might have another, you know, bummer cold stretch because he actually hit like 239 in May, but it was still with the power. As long as that power is there, I, I, I could see him getting another upgrade, really, with, with, with his power, 99 versus lefties and maybe 86 or 87 versus righties. Yeah, and I mean, he's still striking out at a decent clip, um, so I don't think he needs an upgrade anywhere else. I think you're right. The power numbers, I don't think his fielding needs that. See, that's the thing, though, is his fielding is pretty much good where it is. He's got 79 arm strength, which is good, yep. but he's in, in the 50s, which is where he is historically. Yeah, uh, and that's, that's where he needs to be. That's right. where he needs to be. Absolutely. So I think the problem with that is he's an 82 right now. I don't know how much further up he can go with what he's got. His ratings look pretty good for what he does. About the only thing that they might be able to do, and Millennium, you might know this better than, than either TJ and I off the top of our head, is he dominating with runners in scoring position? Because then if that's the case, he could get a clutch upgrade, uh, upgrade because he's at like 48 right now, which feels low. I, I don't know. I just In my mind, I feel like he's a little bit more clutch than that. And I know that, that, that that's runners in scoring position sort of deal. He could get an upgrade there mixed with the power. We could maybe sneak him to gold, but they might have to finagle it because otherwise I, I'm with you. I just don't see anywhere else where you can give Trumbo legitimate upgrades like to his contact or to anything else to get him to gold. Nope. Yeah, and like I said, I think if you really deep dive into what Trumbo's doing right now, the person he has to thank the most is Matt Wieters because Matt Wieters has been behind him most of the year and – when he started going down, Weeders heated up, and I think Trumbo's seeing pitches because of that. He is so. two ninety eight with runners in scoring position. What's his What's his OPS, TJ? His Don't OPS call me is, uh, eight ninety two. Okay, that's that's good. That means he's, yeah. you know, he's doing pretty much exactly what he does with with, with runners out, out of scoring or not in scoring. Say, um, you know, he, he maintains his excellence there. That, that should probably be over forty eight. So I don't know, maybe maybe you give him 10 points there and you give him those power upgrades and all of a sudden you're talking about an 85 at least and get into that gold and, you know, it, it might not effectively change the way he plays, but it's all about that shield sometimes when you're talking about working the market. Uh, with men on, his OPS is 1050. Oh my oh, God. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. He's actually that's really bad with filthy. nobody on. <laughs> 746 with no one on. That's weird. I I remember who I was looking at today. There's another guy like that who was legitimately like bland as hell with runners up. Well, I guess it makes sense though because with runners on, it's much more difficult for the pitcher. So it, it isn't that crazy. He's coming out of the but, stretch, and yeah. Um, yeah, you're coming out of the stretch. You, you're dealing with traffic, so you would expect it to be better. But but what was that like a 400 point difference? That's kind of crazy. Uh, yeah, like three. Yeah, yeah. I mean, either way, you're right. And can you keep that up? Again, like I said, I think he's he's benefiting a little bit from placement in the lineup and actually getting somebody behind him, which you know five hitters don't always get. So, and actually, I think he's moved up. He's moved up to four above Davis at this point. Okay, so good enough to. Yep, absolutely. Uh, all right, the backup catchers are Weeders and Vote. Weeders says all right. Stephen votes all right. Right? Can argue yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, vote was saying that he would have preferred teammate Ryan Dull make it as a, a middle reliever for ah, for the A's. Vote but, is the only uh, A, right? Yeah, I mean, he, he deserves it. I, I, lo I love Steven. No love for uh, Chris Carter? 
Chris Carter? That's not his name. What's his name? Chris Davis. Oh, yeah. Chris oh, da- I mean, Oakland. power's been lit. The best thing that ever happened to vote was vote and Norris getting split up. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they had to get because they were working a platoon. Remember, that platoon was pretty lit, though, when they had it. Yeah, it but, was. Uh, they, they realized that, listen, we, we got a guy here and vote who can be a full timer. Let's trade. Let's trade Norris off to get something else and try to improve the club. Of course, they, they now suck, but that's neither here nor there. Yeah, uh, TJ, you're probably right. You know, if, if Alfield wouldn't have been so deep, see, that's where scarcity helps because. Chris Davis and Josh Reddick, really, but Josh Reddick has missed 30 games. So Chris Davis has actually been better than vote, but when you're comparing outfield versus uh, catcher, much easier to fit vote in at catcher than it would have been to get Davis in for the outfield. Especially AL catchers. Exactly. It's so yeah. bland. All right, let's, uh, let's blast through these pitchers knowing that half of them probably aren't actually going to beat the All-Star game. Uh, we've got Chris Sale. Craig Kimbrell, Zach Britton, Andrew Miller, Wade Davis, who we already know is not going to play, uh, Marco Estrada, Cole Hamels, Danny Salazar, Stephen Wright, who we should just pitch a whole game with that knuckler, uh, Dylan Batances, Brad Brock, Alex Colon, Kelvin Herrera, and Will Harris. The Alex only guy Colomay. I want to see, Colomay, yeah. No, the only guy I want to like speak him. on is Brad Brock. The guy needs an absolute upgrade. He stepped into that setup role that O'Day uh, is hurt with mm-hmm. and, and out of absolutely needs to be upgraded. And we all know my, my feelings on Zach Britton, the best closer in the game. So. I feel like somebody has talked about Britton and Brock both deserving upgrades. I don't know who. Some people out there who do upgrades uh, and, and, and talk about them on their streams and have been beating the drum for Brad Brock. Now, I will say they did give <laughs> Brad Brock an upgrade two weeks ago, and it was much deserved. Mm-hmm. But uh, he's, he's actually deserving of another one already. So this is not a slam on, on SDS. They did give him an upgrade, and he's awesome. I'm I'm really really good with Brad Brock in my lineup. But even since the upgrade, he's only pitched a few times, but he's continued to be lit. And I think that maybe they just uh, sometimes I feel like when they have a guy who's at like so for example, he was at 75. Uh, actually, he started the season at 73. They gave him a little upgrade to 75, then another little one to 78. I think they want to stair step him because honestly, they probably could have gone from 75 to like 83. But that's eight points for like a middle reliever, and, and I, I get it. You, you, you kind of want to maybe take it a little bit slow, especially with a middle reliever who doesn't pitch a whole lot. But you right. just look at what Brad Brock is doing. There's no way he shouldn't be better than a 78 with what he, with what he's doing. But I will say his card plays better than a 78, so don't get hung up on the overall. Oh yeah, that splitter. That splitter is legit. So nasty. Uh, Rocket powered zombie. Uh, in the chat was bringing up Ryan Dull. I think at last I saw, he was at uh, 36 straight inherited runners that have not scored. Yeah, and that's probably why Steven Vogt was trying to beat the drum for him because he has been really, really good. And, uh, you know, about the only flaw in Ryan Dull's game, and this is dating back to last year, he's a little bit homer prone. Uh, and with 1.1 this year, 1.1 homers per nine, that's five homers and 42 in two thirds innings, he had four homers in 17 innings last year. So he's really improved it. Um, he'll need to improve that more if he ever wants to ascend to kind of a ninth inning role. He just can't give up homers as a closer. But as a middle reliever, he's been lit for sure. And I think he got an upgrade relatively recently, but he might be doing another one himself. Uh, and keep an eye on him when you mentioned the home run over nine numbers. We all know. Doesn't matter for Doesn't us. Doesn't matter. So if they upgrade his other stats and keep his home run over nine down, could be one of those sleeper bullpen arms for us. And when we say that, we mean online play specific. Right. Nine. It affects Simstat only. Sim. Simstat only. And in fact, he got he last got upgraded. Ryan Dell did from sixty nine to seventy three back on June third. So it's been exactly one month because he hasn't pitched today. Exactly one month since then, he's thrown 14 innings of a .64 ERA with 17 homers and, or excuse me, with 17 strikeouts and one walk. He's been amazing. So he, he's due for another upgrade and only one homer in that time. So they might even either leave the homer per nine as it is at 56, or even boost it just a just a small margin, just because he's been he's been tamping down the homers lately. In fact, he's only given up one homer in his last 21 appearances pretty big he gave up four or excuse me yeah four in the first 17 
and then one in his last 21. So Ryan Doe, man, you know, these small middle relievers, they're not going to move the needle in terms of market or, or they're not the flashiest players to put in your lineup. But as we get deeper into the season, I like to use players that aren't on everybody's team because then they're not seeing them. They're like, who the hell's Ryan Doe? I don't know how to hit this guy. And that can be a little bit of an advantage on its own because who hasn't seen Pat Neshek 52 times and knows how to hit him? Who hasn't seen rookie Chris Sale? So yep. Ryan Dahl and Brad Brock, I recommend as guys to get in your lineup who play better than their ratings and are uh, unique. Yep. Uh, we got Celtics fan 2434 in the chat saying Kimbrell didn't deserve to be an all-star in his opinion. Uh, what's he got? 17 saves and a 253 ERA. The problem what's is when this? you get the closing pitcher, I mean – once they see the saved numbers, a lot of times that takes over. Hey, yeah. but guess what? The league leader in AL saves is not on the team. Who is it? Oh, uh, wait, wait. Let me guess. Steve Sishak? Nope. Um, AL saves? You're going to be uh, pretty pissed when you can't figure uh, this out, Paul. Oh, it's K-Rod then? Yep. Oh, K-Rod's wow. in the league with 23. Also, can I get a shout-out for Araldus Chapman? He's already tied for 10th in AL saves. That's why, I mean, I didn't care. about. I, I cared why he was just a, a terrible person. But from a fantasy standpoint, it didn't deter me from drafting mm -hmm. him. Five months of Rondis Chapman is still better than 95% of all posters in, in fantasy baseball. And if Chapman would have made it, the entire no-runs DMC, which is probably the worst <laughs> uh name i can think of <laughs> uh, uh sorry 303 era says all right who is this oh i'm looking at k-rod kimbrell's got uh no it says kimbrell has a 253 era Lewis. just so. Lewis. let me see uh let me see what his what are his numbers that go with i mean yeah they're they're looking at saves in era there because that, that might have been a player's pick i uh, possible. Well, all the pitchers are the coaches, right? I mean, he's got a point ninety four whip, thirteen and a half strikeouts. I mean, it's it's hardly. Yeah, he's not bad. Yeah, it's a, it's not an offensive pick, right? Maybe they could have gone elsewhere to get get some of these other players in, but I don't look at that and say, "Oh, Kimbrel was a travesty." Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. All right. Let's hop final over vote. Here. Final vote. I guess we can handle that. Hell yeah, real quick. Uh, we got Ian Kinsler, Evan Longoria, Dustin Pedroia, Michael Saunders, and George Springer. Around the horn. Paul, who's your pick? Ian Kinsler, and it's not just because I'm a homer. Uh, I think he's very deserving. He really could have been on. Uh, he could have been the starter. Millennium. Well, actually, no, not, no. not ahead of Elton. Let me amend that. He could not have been the starter, but he should have made the team. All right. Millennium, who you got? Uh, I'm picking Saunders. Obviously, can't put him in over any of the other outfielders in a very deep position. But, I mean, he's sitting in the 9-10 OPS right now and hitting lefties and righties. He, he used to be, you know, a big-time righty splits guy. He's hitting both now pretty evenly. So, definitely think Saunders is the pick. Yep, and I am taking Saunders as well. I'm sorry, Paul. Uh, hopping over to the NL. Uh, we've got... Buster Posey behind the plate. Oh, what was the stat? Was that the... Uh, everybody on the AL starting lineup other than David Ortiz is 26 and younger. Wow. So that's pretty good. Which is big, because when you think... Uh, when you start really thinking about young players, I, I think NL. Like, the first... I think all the young guys are up and coming in the NL. I, I, don't, I don't really think of the AL as being young, but when I start looking down the roster... You know, Hosmer, Altuve, Machado, Bogarts. I mean, that's, that's pretty huge. Yeah, it's that whole group came up like two years ago, and now the NL group is the ones that came up last year. <laughs> uh, so around the horn, Buster Posey behind the plate. Is there another NL catcher even worth talking about? I think Ramos, but Ramos isn't getting in over Posey. Yeah. Want to vote. Uh, who else we got? Uh, then we have the All-Cubs infield uh, <laughs> with Rizzo, Zobris, Bryant, and Addison Russell. The, the, the Chicago I, Royals, you mean? The only arguments you could make is probably Murphy over Zobris at second and pretty much anybody over Addison Russell at short. Right? Yeah, I think, like, I love Ad Addison Russell and I, I think he's 
a superstar in the making. He'll be part of this this big shortstop renaissance, but he's not there yet. And, and he, he, the the thing of it is, shortstop's so deep that he's definitely taking a deserving spot because they could have gotten Seager in at starter, which is definitely who should have had it. And then Crawford can get in that way. You know, it, it that was a tough one, except even as a, a big Addison Russell backer. Yeah, I think we well, all got to ag- agree that Seager should have started a short. Yeah, and you mentioned the shortstop renaissance. Isn't it awesome that it's so many different types of shortstops, too? Like, you have your contact guys, you got your power guys, and Seager. I mean, Machado's going to be a shortstop when Hardy's, when Hardy's done. That's another, you know, larger shortstop. I just I love the differentiation we're getting in players that are still really good. Totally agree. Uh, then also we have Dexter Fowler in the outfield for the Cubs. I know he's hurt. He's trying to get back to make it to the All-Star game. Uh, this will be his first. And then Bryce Harper and Yoannis Cespedes round out the outfielders. I mean, looking at all the other outfielders, I mean, Duvall, Gonzalez, Ozuna, and Herrera. I, I mean, Fowler was really hot to start the year before getting hurt. Uh, I don't know that I would start him over, like, Cargo, maybe. But, I mean, I, I can't Cargo argue fans, when yeah. I see the others. Yeah. And, like, I know some people are saying, like, Maybe Harper didn't deserve it because batting average or whatever, and he hasn't he hasn't been as super elite kind of since that Cubs series where they walked him a million times. Mm-hmm. But for me, he's kind of that guy uh, Harper is where unless he's embarrassing himself, like unless he's got like a 700 OPS, he needs to be in, basically with anything over 800, he needs to be in the All Star game because it is still about like the very best players. Not that, like I think he's a guy like Trout is a guy that. Their, first, their half season doesn't necessarily need to meet up to like what Dexter Fowler's has to be or what Jackie Bradley Jr.'s has to be. I think that just kind of being a, a quality version is enough to get them there. So I have zero issue with, with Harper. And I, I, I saw some blowback on that. That's why I bring it up. Yep. Uh, doesn't even, who, apparently this page doesn't say the backup catchers. Uh, backup catchers are Jonathan Lucroy from the Brewers and aforementioned Wilson Ramos of the Nationals. Someone tell the sport tell Pasta Padre to inform the Sporting News. They do not have the backup catchers on this uh, <laughs> on this roster. Oh, there they are. They're not in the same order as the AL team. So, whoever the editor. Those are those, those are good backups, by the way. Yeah, I like Wilson Ramos. I got no problem with that. Lucroy can it was been like, great. It's my problem. Uh, infielders. Will Myers been hitting the crap out of the ball, right? Will Myers mm-hmm. has been. As hot as anybody the last month and a half. He's, he's like probably the hottest quarter as you would say. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's amazing. And honestly, um, I dominate. I'm like, I've got better rated cards, but he stays in the lineup right now because I'm hitting 600 with him in like 50 plate appearances. In, in 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 real life, 50 plate appearances is obviously not enough to make any sort of judgment about anything. But in this game, I think when you're talking about playing with a player. Once you get to somewhere, honestly, around 30-ish plate appearances, if you're dominating with someone, chances are you're good with them. And so I have a much lower threshold than I would uh, for judging somebody in real life because these are, you know, the video game to to real-life translation is a little bit different. So, yeah, Will Myers, I I can't get him out of my lineup when I'm hit 600 with 55, 50 plate appearances. Yeah, let me tell you a little bit about Corey Seager and me. Uh, 163 games, so essentially a full season, but he only has 363 at bats. 150. Yeah, probably. Uh, yeah, I guess. Though I feel like I don't use. Oh, probably. I wonder if this takes into account the uh, or conquest. Conquest, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, 363 at bats, 115 hits, 24 doubles, 22 homers, Jeez. 59 RBIs. <laughs> oh my god. I'm yeah. doing all right with him. I have like an 317. The OPS, but that's nuts. Uh, OPS 918. Well, and the other thing that finally came out of that was his remember his fielding upgrade a couple weeks ago. That was finally, major, yeah. yeah, major to be able to keep him at shortstop. He was okay playing third base in Diamond Dynasty, but now he can play shortstop and you can actually make routine plays with him. Mm-hmm. Uh, we also have Paul Goldschmidt, Nolan Arenado, who could be starters. Uh, Goldschmidt probably didn't deserve to start this year, right? He didn't have the great. No, he started defense. really slow. Yeah. He's yeah. starting to he put it back on track, but he started really slow. But Goldschmidt's one of those guys like a Bryce Harper where he's going to make this team if he has 
a okay Paul Goldschmidt season. Exactly. Exactly. If you if you're showing up and, and, and you're up something over eight hundred OPS, you gotta be in Paul Goldschmidt. So I got got no issues with him making the club. And uh, and to Millennium's point, he did start off a little bit slowly, but he's been back on track lately. And now now it looks like vintage Paul Goldschmidt. For a while he was hitting like two forty, but the OBP and the slugging were there. And now everything's on track where you could have easily made a case for him starter, but there are a little, few more Cubs fans. Few more, uh, as he's saying, few more Cubs fans that would uh, obviously be voting other people in at this point. Unfortunately, mm-hmm. uh, getting Rizzo in over Goldie. So, eh, I still like Goldie. I still like Rizzo over Goldie. Uh, Nolan Arenado at third, obviously a great player, but yeah, Chris Bryant having a hell of a year. Though, question: yeah. where, do you, where do you play Chris Bryant in the All Star game? Because you can well, play him anywhere. You've also got the next the the next third baseman on the uh, backups as well. Is he is he a second baseman? Is he third baseman? Yeah. I mean, he deserves to be there, Matt Carpenter. So yeah, well, that's Carpenter. kind of the beauty of it, right? They can, they can really finagle these guys around because there are so many changes in the game. Um, to get guys in, you can you can move these guys all all over the place. You can even move Arenado, or excuse me, uh, Murphy over to first if it's a situation where you're trying to bridge between bringing Rizzo and Goldschmidt in. You know, Myers can play the outfield. You already mentioned Carpenter, second, third, mm-hmm. uh, Bryant. Outfield, third, the, well, the, that flexibility really helps. I actually, Herrera. <laughs> yeah, I actually wouldn't be surprised if Fowler can't play. If they put Bryant in left, and then move Zob- I guess you could move Zobris to third, and then have Murphy start at second. Just throwing suggestions out there. I mean, just like you said, there's just so much you can do with this yeah. team. Like I said, Odubel Herrera coming in in the outfield, even though he's only played outfield this year known that he can play multiple positions. So, yeah, I, I think that combined with that pitching staff, though. Yeah. Well, we still have a lot of players to get to the, before the pitching staff. Yeah. Uh, Adam Duvall spelt incorrectly on the Sporting News page. It's two L's. <laughs> uh, Herrera, who we mentioned, Cargo, and Marcelo Zuna. Battle Royal dominator Marcelo Zuna. If you see his card, pick it up. Dominates left-handed pitching. Kills lefties. But also hangs in there against righties. And that and cargo in the show is ridiculous. Yeah, if you did a cargo Odebell uh tune, that you would have a dominant outfielder wherever you want. Does cargo even need a platoon? Um, yeah, car- cargo can't hit lefties in this game right now. Yeah, unless you have the the prime one of them. Right. Mm, correct. You are correct. Uh pitchers for the NL. Clayton Kershaw, who's not gonna be there. Or I mean he'll be there, but he's not gonna be pitching. Uh, Jake Arrieta, Noah Syndergaard, Strasburg, Bumgarner, uh, Jose Fernandez, Johnny Cueto, John Lester, Julio Tehran. Julio Tehran's the only brave, I guess. Uh, Jerry's Familia. Is Familia the only Met? Uh, Kenley Jansen, Mark Melanson, AJ Ramos, and Fernando Rodney. Any problems with any of those guys? No, not at all. Nah, nah. Uh... I do have a question. If there wasn't this limit on uh, players, I mean, if you didn't have to have a player from each team, does Trevor Story make it in over Adam Duvall? I feel like they're the, kind of the same player. That's a really good point. I think Duvall. So, I think Duvall's only getting in as the Reds guy. Absolutely right. I mean, there's, there's, I don't have an issue with him being in. But yeah, I think things would really change if you didn't have to if you didn't have to do the one per team sort of deal, because, you know, I mean, honestly, when I'm looking at it outside of the home, they might've brought him in just as a home run derby potential mm-hmm. participant, because honestly, Jay Bruce has been better. True. When you're just looking at, at, at the triple slash line uh, of batting average on base and slugging. So yeah, I'm, I'm with you there. Uh, and for the final five, we have Brandon belt, Starling Marte, who is another diamond dynasty monster. Uh, Ryan Braun, Jake Lamb, and the aforementioned Trevor Story. I wouldn't mind seeing Trevor Story in the Homer Derby. Same. Uh, I'm. I, he's not going to make it because there's still so much bad pub on him. I, I think Ryan Braun is probably the most deserving to go to this game. Ooh, I don't know. I would go with Jake Lamb. 
Jake Lamb's I mean, got yeah, he's got the hype right now. I, I agree with that. He's just he's been he's been so dominant with the power, particularly against righties, and that shows up in his uh, in his Diamond Dynasty card too. But he's been so smothering against righties that it almost doesn't even matter what he's doing against lefties. You're talking about a 609 slug, which I believe leads the National League right now. 19 homers, six triples, 19 doubles as well, a 290 average, and all of that comes with a 189 323 and 415 line against lefties he's basically just giving away 65 plate appearances because of his stuff against lefties and he still has those obscene numbers dude he has a total right now in 276 bats of a 974 ops it's not bad that I didn't re- I didn't even realize that that is huge. He's he, he's my vote there, and I, I'm with you on Braun, where where I think he's plenty deserving, but I agree that there is probably still some some residual disdain for him, and 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 why not, right? Because yeah. I'm I'm less concerned about the fact that he used PEDs, but the fact that he like obliterated yeah, that, that tester and just yeah. patently effing lied, like. Man, it's 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 tough to overlook that. So I'm fine if there's residual hatred, uh, it, it, hatred to you know a small level. I should hope it's just baseball. But I, I understand if people don't want to vote for Braun. But if, it's, if you're going to pass over him, I say go with Jake Lamb. Yeah, we in Baltimore, Baltimore call that palmeroing. <laughs> that's that's exactly what it should be called. That's really fun. Uh, I personally like Starling Marte just because I love him in the show. Uh, but I think Trevor Story it would be a good story. If you made it the oh my god! I have oh, to go, guys. Really I'll talk to you yes. never. Uh, <laughs> someone did ask. Uh, be the beast, CJ, in the chat. Uh, would like to know who we think should be the starting pitcher for the NL. Well, since Kershaw is not going to go, I'll say Thor. Yeah, I, I I would say Thor. I mean, maybe Jose Fernandez, but yeah, I think Thor maybe. pretty much is. I feel like there was some talk today question. that Thor might not pitch understandable as well i was going to mention that well he, he just came not. off of what was it bone spurs or something yeah he's yeah. got bone spurs right now and, and they've clearly been impacting him the last couple starts so at that point i go with millennium as well on the jose fernandez trip. Hmm. are you hmm. who start who starts the al wait hold on we have you have to use the dh right yeah, so yeah. no, no yeah, mad. Well, actually, I'd love to see Mass and Baumgartner. <laughs> can we can we make a rule where Mad Bum starts the game, gets his AB, gets his bit, and then we bring yeah. a DH in? <laughs> I mean, listen, I think I think Mad Bum has a reasonable case to be the starter, right? I mean, talking about a two twenty ERA, uh, which is actually better than Syndergaard's and Fernandez's. is. So I, I wouldn't I wouldn't really have an objection to that. His one hundred and fourteen innings are up there among the very best. So listen that'd be fine and then if they wanted to if they wanted to put him in but the fact of it is you have such a deep bench with the all-star game that having a dh is actually pretty pretty useful mm. to uh to getting to getting somebody in and, and getting them a plate appearance so they, and they can't they can't do it. and look his last outings have been shake i don't even really want to say shaky uh but jake arietta's on pace to have a better season than he did last year. Not ERA wise, but he's gonna have probably gonna end up with more wins, less losses. He's already he's leading the league with twelve wins already. Only yeah, that, that support that he gets, even in the midst of like you said, being a little bit shakier than he was last year. I mean, that's just so huge. So yeah, he, he has a case as well. But I, I'm gonna go with Thor if, he, if he's healthy enough to pitch. Then I'm actually gonna shift. I'll save Bumgarner over Fernandez because I didn't realize he was down to a two twenty so far this year which is just obscene oh wow yeah and then i'll, I'll say it, al who i mean does he start do they start steven right i want to see him start steven right i don't think they will uh i tend to agree with tj there in terms of i just don't think that they will and i'd, I'd be fine with it i'm not i'm not i would not have a problem with it but uh i can't see it who feel your, like well your choices Chris are sale. a sale yeah you're probably gonna give it a sale <laughs> Where's the game? The game's in San Diego. Yeah. No real reason to have Salazar or Hamill start there. Well, um, you know why? Why not Salazar over over sale? Though I mean, again, if you're kind of looking at what they're doing this half, uh, Salazar has more strikeouts. Now the thing of it is, I, I feel like Chris Sale is the. Again, it doesn't count. So I feel like Chris Sale is the bigger name. 
you're going to get a couple more people to tune in to start at the start of the game to see Chris Sale well, and see Danny Salazar. But it it does count. I mean, uh, sadly enough, it does count. It's stupid that it counts. Stupid. But to to your point, yeah, I, I'm 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 okay with that. Sale's my actual pick, but I do think. That- case for Salazar when you're looking at an ERA that is the AL's best at 236 uh, big strikeout guy I've got no issues really uh, either way there I, I think it is between those three though that we've mentioned Sale Wright and Salazar I'd actually put him in that order even with Salazar having the better ERA in terms of who I think because because Sale kind of goes back to that point we're talking about with Miguel I mean with uh, Harper and Goldie where as long as Sale is is pitching to a to a high caliber, he's somebody that absolutely belongs on the team. And when he's pitching to anywhere near an elite caliber, he's in contention to be the starter. Uh, who was it in the chat? Celtics fan in the chat says uh, Ale has the bullpen and L's got the starters. Uh, I think that's fair. Yeah. Maybe maybe the trick is we hold Stephen Wright in case we get into a tie game situation. Because this time it counts. Because then, then you can just let him go? Yeah, just let him go. I mean... Just it, an option. I, it'd just be so interesting to see him start, though. Like, how, how much would that mess uh, up the guys the rest of the way? Yeah, I, I would love to see it. But sadly, we're not. Also, where's Will Smith? He's getting jiggy with it. So you're talking about the Milwaukee guy? Yeah. He missed time on the DL though, right? So uh, yeah, he only, only pitched in sixteen games. But I think to uh, I think to Celtics fan point, uh, they had so many starters that they they just didn't even go that heavy on on relievers in the NL. And didn't they? Um, don't they not have like any middle relievers? Like they don't have a Brad Brock on the end. Do they? They have like uh, no, pretty much all, just all closers. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, Fernando Rodney, the only. Well, not. he's the closer with the Marlins right now. Mm, you sure about that? Wasn't he closing the other day? I thought he pitched eighth the other day. Okay, maybe maybe not. But he was obviously a closer for the bulk of the year. So yeah, technically, yeah. since both made it, one of them had it is technically a uh, um, a middle reliever. By the way, who did the Padres get besides Myers? Anybody? The uh, one. one that I was just, yeah, I think it was just. It Myers. was just. Yeah, it was just Myers. See, that's a bummer that they could have had to if if it wasn't for uh, if Rodney hadn't been traded. Is there any, is there anybody else on the Padres that would get it this year? No, because the younger Solarte was hurt. So. Yep, and and Rawls got hurt early, which would have been the only other chance they had. Was... Yeah, you're you're right. He's only pitched the eighth for them. He's definitely been their setup guy. Um, I, I knew he blew the save, and so when I heard blown save, I I falsely associated it with Just him. It was him. But can we talk about that flashback, Rodney? Though it's so filthy. I need oh. that card so badly. Can, so good. Can we get Melvin Upton Jr. on this All Star game? I don't know, man. He's been really good plays, defensively. If he plays the Orioles every game, maybe he's a beast. He's been he's been good this year. I mean, we're talking about like he's been more of a fantasy asset though, with 13 homers and 19 stolen bases. We're still talking about a 745 OPS, so maybe it'll be tough to finagle him in there. Maybe Drew Pomerantz sneaks in if a if a starter goes down. I, I can definitely see that, and I don't know. His record is trash, know. but that's because yeah. the team he's on. But hopefully they don't go off of that. And I don't know if they would do this, like give priority to the to the hosting team. But I, I'd be okay with it for Pomeranz specifically because he's been awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pitching to uh, what do you, what what stat would you like me to read? He's got a one oh nine five WHIP, ten Ks per nine. There you go. Those are those are good. You can you can throw out ERA too. That, just ERA yeah. alone is not a skill indicator. But those skills that you're talking about yep. with it, the the, the one ten whip and the ten strikeouts, that that tells you how good he is. Yep. Two sixty five ERA, not bad. Seven and seven record looks terrible, but how about big game, James? No, nah? no. All right. Well, he's not on their team anymore, but I also mean, he's terrible. We should get him back on the team. To what pitch the home run derby. Yeah, him and uh, Max Scherzer. <laughs> exactly. Also, yeah, some there were uh, people were complaining about the Scherzer snubbage. I mean, but look yeah. at look at the people that are in. I know. I can't. Uh, I can't argue with anybody that's in. Okay. It's yeah. so deep in the NFL. They have a lot of good like, players. I like. I, I get it because he definitely qualifies in that realm that we're talking about. Where as long as you are, you know, being a a, a solid version of yourself, you have a good case. He'll get in via dropouts, 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I have no problem with him not making it over the guys, over the starters that made it. If you want to start finagling one of these relievers off, maybe, but over the starters who made it, I, I'm, I'm okay with this. There's <laughs> already nine starters on the team. He might strike out 300 this year. Leading the league with 155. Also yeah. leading the league with 21 jacks. <laughs> so. It's insane. He's it's insane. Like His career high is 29, so he's probably going to blow by that this year. Home talk runs about? Were, were an issue for him with the tiger. Like when he was trying to put it together and go from kind of that that third, fourth starter to the ace, it, it was it was quelling the home runs that that really needed to come together. And and no no shock that his best home run to date was when he had the Cy Young season, and then he was better even the next year. And then since he's been with Washington, his homers have kind of gone back up. But Max Scherzer, that just shows you how good he is because a one six. Uh, homer per nine would mo- normally kill a, a pitcher, but uh, it's only pushed his ERA up to a 3.21, which is is still pretty respectable. Can we talk about on the down low one of the better diamond pitchers in the game because of that, Paul? Who that? Max Scherzer. Oh you yeah, know? yeah. You, you, sure. uh, that's a great point. Is that you look at that rating, and again, that's not going to hurt him. The homer per nine. They can move that all the way down, as, as far down as they want, because they probably need to move it down even further, and it's just not going to affect you in online play. We'll re- reiterate again that homer per nine is a sim stat only, so do not factor it in when you're doing your BR drafts or making your DD lineup. Yep. Like right now, he has – I'm bringing it up right now. It, because it immediately clicked with me after we had this entire conversation – he has 84 hits over 9, 85K over 9, 82 clutch, 77 BB over 9, and then it's a 59 HR over 9. I mean, the guy is dominant in the show. I you wish know. he had something like a two-seamer or a sinker to throw. He's a four-pitch guy. To, they but... used to give him a sinker, right? Yeah, he used to have it, and I'm, I'm not sure what the distinction was that, that cost it. That. I'd actually have to look at Brooks Baseball because I don't know. The thing of it is, most guys kind of manipulate their fastball in multiple different ways. Yeah, but I, was, the, I was watching. I uh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, I was just gonna say I, I don't know if he is throwing a, a, a true sinker this year or not. Yeah, uh, I was watching the Nats game uh, yesterday. I felt like uh, Papelbon was throwing kind of a little two seamer going on, but he doesn't have it in the game. Yeah, you got to watch out for the break on the four seamer in this game. The break actually does something. It started last year. I think it's yep. more pronounced this year. Absolutely, because I, I was like, when I was doing my DD po- or my uh, road to the show point, I'm like, well, what four seam break? What's that for? I know, I know what late life is and all that in real life, but I was like, do they actually factor that in? And I absolutely believe that four seam break is a thing this year, which, which is pretty awesome. I'll tell you what, one thing I'd like to see with, with Scherzer in terms of, of an affordability standpoint is if they did give him that homer per nine downgrade, take him back to a gold, tank his price, and then I can buy him. You're no worse for the wear. Yeah. Uh, also, it looks like his cutter usage is on the uptick, depending on how you feel about that. Oh, man. There you if go. He started use, if he started using a cutter, oh, oh man, he would become number one starter for me. I love cutters. You know what's really interesting? Oh wait, I was looking at something. Never mind. One of these days, we're gonna have a uh, Paul and I are gonna have a complete show on the merits and penalties of the two seamer in the show. I'm getting a little bit better with it, but I still feel like I give up catastrophic home runs with it every once in a while. Uh, all right. Are we done with the All Star game? Uh, yeah, at least absolutely. these at least these players in the All Star game. Yes. Okay. Uh, Madden Two K Gaming in the chat has a question. Uh, what is the best collection to do that costs around seventy to eighty grand? Let me give you your options in that ballpark price range. Uh, you have the Red Sox for Carlton Fisk. You have the Blue Jays for Aaron Hill. You have. You could probably do Nolan Ryan Astros collection. I'm gonna I'm gonna jump before you even finish. I, I think I'm gonna say the Red Sox because I mean, think about all those All Stars we just talked about. It's not like they were undeserving. I know we had some d- debate on Kimbrel. We're talking about Bogarts, Betts, Bradley, the Killer Bees. Not to mention David Ortiz, Pedroia, 
I mean, you get a lot of players that you can slot into your lineup. And I love that Carlton Fisk because he's a uh, blocking master. And I, I throw 52 wild pitches a game. And, you know, he cuts it down to about 45. And that Fisk is even money against lefties and righties. So you don't exactly. have to worry about going back and forth with them. Uh, also, the last one is the Rockies. And I know uh, my name's going to extol the virtues of that Abaldo. Oh, that Abaldo is dirty. But I like. I won't. I can't say what else you're going to get in that Rockies collection. You're going to get Arenado. Arenado. You're going to get Cargo. Cargo rake against righties. But I mean, I go to outs. bat for uh, for Blackman. I've got insane numbers with him, and yeah. he's doing upgrades. So he slaps everything. Yep. Yeah, you can get you get you get your starting third baseman. You get an, uh, an elite starter. You get your strong side platoon right fielder in Gonzalez, and you get an on the rise. I would say at least a bench bat in Charlie Blackman, even though I've got no problems starting. I mean, and LeMahieu's got good, like, really good contact numbers. And speed. Story's got the power. You can parse another guy that can hit righties real good. Jake mm-hmm. McGee's not trash if you need a lefty Neither. home in the bullpen. Did you say LeMahieu? Because um, he's if you if you are a contact player, now that depends mm-hmm. on your on your, the way you play. Like, I, I like contact guys. He's pretty good at second base as well. Yeah, that if you have LeMahieu and Blackman slap the ball all over the field. Yep, they make really good contact. So if your PCI placement is on point and things like that, you can really benefit with those two. So I, I, I would go to bat for the uh, for the Rockies one. Still going to stick with Boston as my top pick, but I've got no problem giving Colorado some love. Yeah, and, my choice, even though I – go ahead, TJ. No, I was going to say uh, Paul loves to say Adam Ottavino. <laughs> Adam Adovino, it's just a fun know, name. If he had, it, it, and if he hadn't gotten hurt, this would be a guy who would be definitely a silver inching his way toward a gold. He's a really good reliever, and I'm excited for him to get back to see what he can do. He has a long way to he, – he's not going to get gold this year because he's only got about a half season to do it, but I think he's going to be good. Uh, the only other thing I would say is I love the Colorado collection, but that Houston collection is unbelievably good. Uh, you get Altuve in it. You get the Nolan Ryan, which is a really good card. Um, you can grind the Billy Wagner, the, the better Billy Wagner, the 93 Wagner. You get Correa. Um, you get Kekel, who, even though on a downtick, is a lefty with good, decent stat numbers. I you get it's, Springer. I believe it's Keichel. Not yep. It, it is, in fact, I do Keichel. It all the time, too, yeah. <laughs> um, um, I'll go to bat for Will Harris. Big. I'm yep. insanely good with him. Yep. I, I don't even know how to explain it. I'm just so good. I think it's another one of those guys that people don't see a lot. So when you bring him in, they're like, wait a minute. Wh- what's going on with this guy? Who- who's Will Harris? And, and also, sneak tip, uh, Lance McCullers has a great chance of gold uh, this summer. Uh, also, Doug Fister, a poor man's Corey Kluber. That's a good way to put it. See? Remember how people were so mad at us when we said that? <laughs> and now we got the pros on here telling us yeah, that's a good way to put it. Yeah, he, I've come around on him after I think after getting decimated by him once. He's just one of those guys, and this is another guy like this uh, in the same realm because they're not overpowering. That throwback Tanner Roark, I got to give credit to Boiler Boy 14 yep. uh, Brady, who re- was really uh, singing the praises of that throwback Roark. I went and got him, and I've been using him a couple times already. I really like him. These, these sinker baller types. Uh, with their five pitches, and, and again, kind of that, that look that people haven't seen. Who's really using Fister out there? So when they get Fister, they're like, oh, I'm going to crush this guy, and then the ball's moving all over yeah. the place. Fister and does not have a spot it wherever pitch. you want. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Uh, and the Wandy, the, the left-handed Wandy. The Wandy good. is nice. Let me – got to find that one. Is that a rookie flashback? It's just a prime flashback. Yeah, well, also, prime, prime. Can we talk about the 100 pence fr- prime flashback? Kind of a beast. 84 well, contact versus righties. Eight, or 80 contact versus righties. 84 versus lefties. 80 power versus righties. 79 versus lefties. Kind of a beast. 82 speed. Don't sleep on it. Agreed. Solid defense, too. Big arm strength. Everything else, pr- pr- pretty good arm accuracy. A little bit off at 62, but uh, 76 fielding, 70 max. It's all good stuff. Uh, all right. So we spent a lot longer talking about that all-star team than... Uh, I think the plan was to. I have no problem with that at all. Because <laughs> that was, I mean, when you, when all-star rosters come out, you got to talk about them. I mean, the well, game counts, right, Paul? Yeah, that's that's kind of the fun part, I guess, is talking about. 
that's probably more fun than the game. Like I'll watch the game, but it's not like I watch the like I'll ha- I'll be playing, I'll be streaming probably during the game, mm-hmm. uh, having it on one TV and and be on the other. Uh, do we want to bust through this roster update real quick before we uh, get into some games? If yeah. only to talk about that sick Troy Tolitsky. Right. Yeah, it w- it wasn't a great update. So honestly, the 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 two the two card or the four cards uh, mm-hmm. comprised the two players that came out of it were the real MVPs. Yeah, the, what's it? It's a new Tulo and a new Linscom, both with rookies that can get you to those cards, right? Yeah, right. Pri- they're prime and flashbacks, uh, or they're, they're prime and rookies. Uh, let's take a look at the Tulo first. Uh, I do think the go ahead. Oh god, go ahead. No, go ahead. Uh, 84 contact versus righties, 95 power versus righties, 99 contact versus lefties, 91 power versus lefties, 95 fielding, 99 arm strength. It's a pretty legit card. Uh, I mean, I I don't know if those fielding numbers match up with Troy Tolowitzki. I mean, he was good, but Ooh, I don't, was he ever elite? Prime? Yeah, Troy he absolutely was elite. I think yeah. I think you're having some recency bias creep in because yeah. he's falling off a little bit. I, I, uh, it's a prime I, Troy Tulowitzki probably in a season that he played 100 games, maybe 80. <laughs> what, what, <laughs> His durability what, is 50. Uh, do we know what yeah. year this is? Uh, or, uh, usually says it on the card. Uh, yeah, which one? Daddy Leagues doesn't show it. Uh, oh, okay. It doesn't actually show, yeah. Uh, hold on. Talk about Tortula Whiskey. Honestly, probably 2009. Played 151 game. I mean, MLB The Show Tips in uh, the chat is Tula the best player in the game? Uh, I think there's a really good chance. I think he's yeah. going to be the best shortstop in the game. Uh, it is his it's 2010 card. 2010? He had 315. So that's 27 that's... homers, 95 RBI, 949 so yeah. To your point, that's 122 games yeah yeah um oh man that's mm, those are some numbers yeah the fact that he did that in, in that 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 number of games is essentially three quarters really of the season obscene. yeah i would have it's preferred really the 2014 tulo that hit 340 with 21 jacks 52 rbis and a 1035 ops yeah but in 91 games. 91 games 91 yeah. games but yeah um millennium his defense was lit back then so i've got no problem with it being i mean he was he he was regarded as as the best defender in the game right no i'm with you uh what we said what we said uh, 2010 you know, 984 you know that is paul that's cal what? bias <laughs> oh there you True. go it's cal bias keeping in he did have 10 errors that year so, that's a pretty good card yeah but 10 errors in short stop is, is DJ, he, 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 just, he just quoted errors and I, I really have to go i'm never coming back hey man <laughs> You just quoted shortstop errors. I just don't know how to deal. I mean, you can have Marcus Simeon all you want. Dude couldn't gra- can't feel the ground ball for his life. Well, he's a terrible defender. I'm, what my point is, is that errors alone are not indicative of how good or bad a defender is. It's now, true. They that happen is, to match up. That is how Derek with, Jeter won all those gold gloves, because he only got the ball two feet to the right or two feet to the left. <laughs> yeah, you didn't make any errors because you never got to the dang ball. Yep. Uh, the other prime flashback is the Tim Linscomb, 95 stamina, 88 hits per nine, don't care about, uh, 91 Ks per nine, 84 home runs per nine, which doesn't matter. Uh, not bad. Pretty good card. 90, 97 break on a changeup that's uh, 10 miles an hour or less than his fastball. Mm-hmm. 91 12. break on a 12 to 6. Oh, my God, that curveball. And you know how we feel about 12 to 6 and sliders. We love them. Also, it's, it, can it's we just remember? Ridiculous. This is like AJ Griffin who could throw a little harder. A little harder, and it is way better <laughs> yeah. in every way possible. I've been using that AJ Griffin in Battle Royale, and he's pretty good. <laughs> That's fine. This is way better. So just imagine how good you're going to be with the Lens to come because those per nines matter, and AJ Griffins are nowhere. They do not hold a candle. To what Lincecum comes out here doing? Am so, I legitimately hearing AJ Griffin versus Tin Lincecum at the time? TJ. Uh, oh. So it'll cost you right now. It'll cost you a hundred and sixty. You can put a uh, buy order in for a hundred and sixty thousand to get Lincecum, or a hundred and sixty-two thousand to get his rookie flashback, and then do the work. Wait. <laughs> so, <laughs> think you want to go the other way on that one and just. Yeah. 
cut cut out cut out the work. Well, there's only been one of the prime sold. I think there's actually been a few of the, the of sold. the actual rookie sold. Yeah. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I think that's where where it came in. All right, uh, what's the rest of this? Jose Fernandez got a point. Josh Donaldson got a point. Mad Bum got a point. Chris Bryant got two. Guy's gonna be a diamond any day now. Yep. Uh, Danny Salazar got a point. Jay Bruce. Adam Warren, I guess he moved from the bullpen to a starter. Yeah, and same Bruce thing with Dyson. Gerard Dyson. Dyson moved from left to center. Or from, right to center. Uh, o got two points from becoming a closer. Right? He didn't become a closer last week. He became a closer this week, right? Yeah. Correct. Uh, yes, I mean, like, there really was, like Paul said, the, yeah. the roster update was iffy at best. Yeah. It was scant. It was scant. Yeah. The, the majority of it, I think, was just pitcher movement, making a lot of big stuff, but... Wow, it's almost everyone. like they were busy with something else. Right. Yeah. Um, really, people are really hyped on Chris Bryant. He's a 91 right now who's costing 24000 Well, 20000 if you put it in the buy order. But, like, that's that's some anticipation right there because you don't usually – like, he was so much cheaper a couple weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can pull it up in one second. So well, you don't you have thought- – you missed your chance. Yeah, you would have thought the cost went. Well, remember he's still uh, seventeen hundred tickets in the captain sure. store until Friday. Oh yeah, and you would think that that would depress. Him. Like he's now the same thing because uh, Rizzo is also in the captain store, but they're like almost dead even in price, which is kind of kind of interesting. Yeah, and actually, I think actually Rizzo's gone up like over the day. Like today, he's gone up a ton. Oh, that's oh, wow. just normal. Welcome, welcome to Tuesday in the show. It's pr- prices uh, go down Fridays. Yep, Fridays, Saturdays, Sunday, and then start to climb back up. Peak th- uh, Thursdays and then drop again. MB the show oh, tip oh. says, "Go ahead." Yep. No, yeah. no, 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 that's, no, that's what. It. Go ahead. Uh, devs confirmed that flashbacks and legends we've been seeing in packs are here to stay. Uh, they made some changes to make sure they are in packs, in-game rewards, and logins. So That's we'll be awesome. seeing more of it. Oh, isn't it, though? Because, I mean, don't get me wrong. Everybody wants to have that diamond lineup, right? But how much fun is it to have, like, that 85 flashback that just works for you? Like, Jared Weaver. I love Jared Weaver, the 89 collection reward. There's a flashback. He just works for me. Like, I get that seeing that that squad screen with a bunch of diamonds looks cool. That's about it for me. Otherwise, I'm not really that hung up on diamonds. I'm hung up on the guys who are the best players for me and who I'm going to play the best with, whether that's an 86 gold Jason Castro, who I've only used in BR, but I hit a home run in my first four at-bats with him. Or, as I mentioned earlier, um, I can't remember still, but I said I dominate. But I dominate with Odabel Herrera. I dominate with Scotty. Like, I'm just going to use the guys that I dominate with. Uh, one other guy I wanted to mention, Deho Lee, got a nine-point bump in this update. Pasta it, boy. Yeah, it, it, it was needed because he'd been getting like 20. He had a 24-point upgrade um, in one it, one of the days for uh, Inside Edge, which was yep. insane. Yeah, and he's so, getting plus 12 right now. So Yeah, he, he needed to get moved up. By the way, um, Inside Edge for really the worst thing. Yeah, I've <laughs> I'm in the, the worst side of this. Ever. No, you're right. You're right. For for stat heads, I think it's been a, a real problem. Um, I, the joy that I found in it before I really started looking into the reasoning for the inside edge, I was sitting there going, "Wow, this is really cool." You know, I'm mixing up my bullpen all the time, and then I started going, sure. "Why am I mixing my bullpen up all the time? It shouldn't be this big of this big of a change." Then I went, then I started doing what you do all the time, as I started looking into the stats and went, "Man, this is not good." <laughs> Like, I, I'm not even, like, I know you go into some of them and it's like not enough data, minus 11, or whatever. I'm, that doesn't even necessarily bother me. I don't know how you're getting Kenley minus 11s across the board. There is no matchup where Kenley Jansen is a minus 11, and, and, and now you've got him yeah. down to an 84. And that's like, the same with, uh, with Chapman. Yep. Got, guys with this pitch mix are doing bad. It's like no one's throwing 103 miles per hour every pitch. Exactly. So, I don't know. Oh, I can't see. Oh, I can't see relief pitchers. Uh, Sean Kelly's getting a bump right now. Papelbon. 
no longer closing, by the way. Well, and see that, and that's the thing. Like the guys who are getting these huge bumps, as Paul said, are the mid seventies guys. Like they're, they're getting bumped into the like Jerry Blevins right now has got a plus twelve to, to eighty eight overall, and again, overall notwithstanding, but I mean he's getting plus sixteen to all of his per nines. And it's because left-handed relievers have an ERA of two seven four against the Marlins this season. I mean, I guess unless they're facing Marcelo Zuna, right? <laughs> yeah, Jonathan Broxton plus seventeen is across the board right now. Get, so yeah, get I mean one. that's uh, I I am overall I give I give Inside Edge a, a thumbs up. I do like it, but uh, the reliever Inside Edge has been kind of. Like, we, we got what we asked for, I guess, because we kept saying, oh, they need to fix it because it's always, like, minus two every day for the really good ones. Well, now it's minus 11. Look, we got what we asked for, and it sucks. Maybe we're stuck with what we had. Yeah, but at least now your your good guys are going to play, most days are going to play to their level rather than Chapman playing down. I don't know. I've, I've seen them taking hits more often than they're getting boosts. I, I, I I'm I'm – very I don't know Zach Britton's getting pluses player. today so that's all I care about well that's because he's Zach elite sick. yeah beast pitchers with By the similar way, repertoire there's... aka the nastiest sinker in the game yeah <laughs> people swing like legitimately I, I don't know that you can program yourself in this game to prepare for that sinker it's I mean just like real life don't get me wrong but I it's so hard and I and I pit, played against him in just a computer game it's so hard to tell yourself swing like <laughs> almost a complete third of the zone under where the pitch is going. And guys, uh, he costs three thirty two hundred. Because nobody knows. You can, They're you all can about buy that now. Rookie Chris Sale life. Yeah, you can buy now <laughs> yeah. for thirty nine eighty nine. Like, dump rookie Chris Sale. Get yourself Zach Britton. Yeah, yeah by the way, you really it, should. Look at Paul. No, I was gonna say you really should because it, it goes back to the point I was making earlier. Who hasn't faced Chris Sale 500 times? I'm not saying that that means you're raking him, but a lot of people, like streams and stuff, have said, uh, "I'm getting hit with Chris Sale lately. This this, this is uh, annoying. I'm tired of getting crushed with him." And it's like, well, it's it's not. And and the the rumor was, you know, like, oh, well, San Diego probably turfed him and made him worse. I don't think it's that. I think it's that everyone's been used to playing against him. They know you're going to throw that in, that high inside cheese. And then you're going to try to throw a slider that's going to fall out of the zone. And, yep. But you know what? That slider doesn't fall out of the zone because he's only got uh, what's it, 45 walks per nine. So yeah, it's going to be hard. To, it's going to be hard to hit that meter, and you're going to leave that slider right over the plate, low and in. Fact. And guess what? Well, that's and, where I'm looking. And, and I'm gonna put it 450 on you. And the other part of that is, go on Reddit. Go on. You know, lit, watch Show Tips' ret- retweets about. Hey, what can I do better for my team? It's like this elite team, and every time flashback sales in it. That should tell you right there. If you see it that much, if you see any pitcher that much, start thinking to yourself, well, maybe, especially when decep- deception for that sale is probably 80% of his game. It's and just, he's just not deceptive deep. anymore. Exactly. That's the first. That's the first thing I always. If I see sale, I go go get yourself Britain. You will never look back. Yep. I do like Wagner, by the way. Rocket Power Zombie in the chat. The Astros Wagner, that ninety three. I, I do like that Wagner a lot. Oh, he's amazing. But Billy Wagner was one of the relievers ever. He has yep. a he has a legit Hall of Fame case in my. Opinion. All right. So I guess uh, we'll have to delay the AL Central talk for another night. I have no problem with that. This was this was so much better than listening to me talk about budgets for a half hour. Uh, Paul, I'm going to spring this yes. on you now. Uh, assuming that you don't make it in uh, Snake's Home Run Derby, Derby Tournament, uh, next week we're going to bring some superstars of the show uh, into the, a little Home Run Derby. If you're interested, next Monday night, 10 p.m. Eastern. Well, I would I will be interested, but maybe I'll sponsor somebody because I was actually given a spot. Um, wow! By, now I see yeah, what it is. At Corey forty six, he won. Boiler Boy had a, had a question spot that he gave away. Corey forty six won one and already had one and gave it to me. So I'm good to go. But I would absolutely sponsor somebody. I've only played about six home run derbies ever, but I'm actually halfway decent. All right, I'm just saying. 
Uh, we're going to have some of the uh, big names around the internet. Uh, one of the biggest video game writers. Uh, a former ESPN writer. ESPN writer? Show writer? I don't know what he did. We won't say names. Uh, but what we're going to do is, uh, once we get the eight players set, we're going to do a, a random draft. Not a random draft. Oh. We're going to do a random list and then draft the players that are in the real Home Run Derby. And then uh, and then play it out. Oh, that's, that's, I'm definitely in. See? See how he's easy a, that was? He's a, wrestling fan. he's a wrestling fan, too. Also that wrestling fan. Right. That guy. Uh, so if you're in, Paul, that gives us five. I'm right. just saying. If you want in. Just Absolutely. Uh, then we got to find a couple more. Maybe we'll uh, try to get two fans in for those last two spots. Or we have three we'll, spots we'll have left. Call in some favors. Mm, no. No favors. Oh, we, we do have what's in the plan. So we have two spots. We do have two spots left. So uh, we got to see what's up with that. Uh, Paul, do you want to play a game? Sure. I mean, is that something you want to do? You want to do some Diamond Dynasty? I mean, I thought we were going to play uh, like a Tigers Indians because we we're going to talk about the AL Central. Uh, but we didn't do that, so Ugh. it's up to you. Dealer's choice. Tigers. Um. Yeah. Well, that in play. You tell me. I want to see well, a Diamond how, Dynasty. How do you, how do you, yeah. Obviously, we got to play Diamond Dynasty. But like, how do you want to do it? You tell. Do you tell me? Do you want to do a Carl Soup? Which I don't know what that means. No, I'm never doing that. I don't know. If I have that, a weak stomach. Carl soup? Do you want to do a Dragon it's Ball? A Dragon Ball? A, it's a concoction of garbage. What's Dragon Ball? With? Uh, Dragon Bowl is a drink that you get at a place and you end up in the bathroom crying. And oh, is it like an alcohol drink? Your buddy's got to tell you, hey, the cops are coming. You need to get out of here. And then you run out. It's not good. Sounds terrible. Um, mm -hmm. No, I, I mean. You tell me what you want to do. You want to put some limits? Put something on it. You want to put some limits on Oh, BT Dubs, Home Run Derby, winner gets 20 PSN. Hot. See, so now you're in again. Um, do you want to pick I some rules? Wanna, do you want to go an all-team team? I mean, I, I'm up for anything. I don't, only because I'd have to switch my team on a stream after this, and I'd have to switch my team again. So I'd I rather just, just see your use... Team. Yeah, I'd rather just use full team. Oh, fine. Use Paul. a team. That's what you I want to see. You want to get rocked. Sorry, Sorry homie. What? Do you want to get rocked? I mean, that's fine. Well, what would be the difference if we use limits? Would I not still get rocked? I mean, true. So yeah, I mean that that's not that's not uh, swaying me one way or the other. Let's just use our regular well, team. Make sure you check the uh, uh, make sure you check your IE boost for today. Oh, I'm looking. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to reboot the Elgato because I feel like it needs that before we get into the game of the week. Uh, what's your uh, what's your rating up to now? It is up to pull it up. Hey. I know you're. Awesome. Did you made it to the seventeen hundreds or? Seventeen fourteen. Nice. I am. You're like nineteen ninety or. Something. Uh, I'm seventeen oh seven. Oh okay. Got... Well, wait, 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 wait. How am I ahead of you? Uh, hold on. Let me see what happens. I think that seems cray. I think I got blue screened in the game, and it dropped me ten points. I just meant, how are you not like upper seven hundreds? The seventeen, the seventeen to seventeen fifty has been uh been a battle not gonna so it was a, it was a dark time for tj for a couple weeks there yeah uh, I, I keep i keep referencing him but but boiler boy got into the cs and promptly lost six games in a row and moved back down to the uh to the yeah. ds and i'm not i'm not blasting that's the exact same thing that's going to happen to me if i'm fortunate enough to get up over 1750 so it it, it definitely seems like that next level mm -hmm. and then where it's it's tough. And then don't, as you kind of get higher, don't you kind of run into guys who are kind of win at all costs, a.k.a. maybe a little bit of cheese factory coming in? A little Absolutely. Bit. And I, I've also been stupid. I Like, I ran my, uh, like, an all-raise team. I was like, oh, I'll just use them online. Oh, yeah. Maybe maybe, uh, maybe they will take into consideration my teams overall. Nope. Definitely does nope. not do that <laughs> at all. I was like, oh, this guy's 10 rating points higher than me. And he's uh, and he's got all diamonds. So <laughs> you're okay. like, uh oh, I'm dead. I don't think Jake Odorizzi's gonna get through this all diamond. Yeah. Oh, who's on the mound? All right, let me see what I got working. Oh, Will Myers is boosted down. Obviously, that was who I was talking about earlier. New Zobras, flashback Zobras, flashbacks or regular Zobras. Uh, I'm very jealous. Flashbacks. 
Uh, Zobrist got way new. Uh, Flashback Zobrist has way more power than Flashback Zobrist. I mean, uh, Flashback Zobrist has way more power than. Yeah, a live series for Zobrist has the contact. Mm -hmm. Does uh, Flashback Zobrist have any more options that that throwback doesn't? Uh, or, no, no, they're the same same position. Uh, uh, second, second make short, and, and the outfield. Two outfields. Yep, three, they both have three all three outfields. Yeah, all three outfields. Uh, but uh, live oh, has amazing. way better contact ratings. Sixty-eight yep. and ninety on the base, and it's sixty and seventy-three on the flashback. And then the vision, 90 vision on the live, it's like 64, I think it is, on the flashback. I could be wrong. Yep. You got, you got the old player skills now. Also, the speed, stealing, and base running aggressive go to the flashback. Yeah, but his hitting against lefties is legit. <laughs> it's so good. All right. So, I don't so hate this. T I have to figure out this lineup. That's going to be the problem. Because we all know I hate uh, trying to put Jim Edmonds in. That oh. Uh AJ in the chat, does difficulty go up when you get into the higher divisions? I think it goes from sure all sorts of the same, up, yeah. yeah. Sure yeah. does, yeah. That lower PCI, baby. Does it go yeah, and that, that was that was the thing that uh, that Brady Water Boy was, was saying. Yeah, like he, that he noticed right away, he's like, Oh my god, this PCI difference. So uh, did you uh, you said you haven't gotten there yet, TJ. So I, I right. wonder if that's gonna be a big adjustment that we're gonna struggle with when we get up there, if we get up there, which obviously we will be striving to do the rest summer but uh i feel we'll we can do it i feel we have the skills. I, I, I think we have the skills but let's hope we have the skills to stay in there once we're there gotta play that franchise mode on legend get get your beatings out of the way against the computer and then you get used to that terrible pci it's actually like a really good call that's what i do unfortunately got my squad up to a 93 overall what's your squad is it like? your, is it your orioles uh is it an orioles dynasty uh, i've got a 90 Actually, both. Uh, we have, I have an offline Orioles franchise that I don't stream, but then the the stream on Sundays when I do the Rockies uh, for the OS stream, both of them on Legend. Ugh. Real tough. Not good. Yo, TJ, since in real life you would know who's – I'm going to tell you my, my starters are all righties. Okay. Uh, so you can so, – uh, like, So I don't need to that, have Edwin Encarnacion on my team. Like, yeah, you, I mean – you know, obviously I'm going to have lefty relievers, but you don't have to worry about facing. Uh, and and again, I, I, I think that in real life, you would know, you know, it's not like the starters. He, in, just, he just wants to know who my life, starters are. So. Gotcha. Uh, uh, well, I, I'm obviously going to have the stream up, dude. I see that you have four and one. So. Yeah, I only have a uh, mad bum from the left. Is that, uh, is there, are there any throwback mad bums or anything like that? Or There's a flashback? prime flash. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the world, the world series. Is that a starting pitcher one? Yeah, it's a it's a flashback World Series. For yeah, the Bumgarner. You're thinking the Wainwright is the closing pitcher, the 99 Wainwright. Yeah, right. that mean he also closed out that game, didn't he? Disgusting. Yeah, he did close out he that did, game, yep. but threw five innings. Like hey man, minis middle relief. There's also a rookie uh, flashback Mad Bum. Oh, that's right. That's right. He has. To now that would be high. nice if that would have a mission. That'd be awesome. Are you kidding what? me? Are you kidding me? I sold this thing for like eleven grand, and now it's selling for like twenty eight. I could, what I could, you sell? the rookie Mad Bum. I couldn't well, sell it for fourteen grand, and now it's twenty eight. Is the buy now? Wait, that's crazy, especially considering that they added all right. the flashbacks in. You would think it would be the other way, where you sold it for a whole bunch, and now. Everyone who has it wouldn't be able to. That's that's interesting. Unless they what day did you sell it on? Like three days ago. When was what was three days ago? I don't know. Friday? Did you make an error, money? Did no, you make I an checked error? the. Hold on, Daddy. No, no, no. What's today? Tuesday. Three days ago would be the weekend. You don't sell on the weekend. You buy on the weekend. You sell on the week. No, I love noob ass uh... noob. I think what money I'm just saying is that you're a noob ass noob. No, go look at what happened in the last three days. Just letting you know, tons of flashbacks in the, in the market. And look, can you look? I'm gonna put the link in the chat. I don't have I to put the link in the chat. I'm already getting them. Yeah. Just think you're a new bass noob. Is that what it is? is that you're listen, TJ. Bass? I don't we, think we any, all know. I, we I, all know how this works. Um, you beat my you beat my ass on a normal basis when we play. Look at look at the trend Guess line. What? Just look at the trend Guess line. Guess what? Just I at, am, I am what they like to call a savant. When it comes to team building, and 
So you're I, telling I me can't... that the infusion of this guy's card made his price jump. No, I'm telling you, I would be surprised. If See, you... look at that price jump. There was one person sold it for 80000 Three people what do you sold think that it is? for over 20000 well, What do you think those are? Bad people. Dumb people. First of all, that 80000 is no way is legit, by the way. I'm not playing Millennium in this game. Jeez. Or not. There we go. I'm going to send you a challenge. Where, where are we playing? Uh, why, why, why do I got to be the... Do you, I mean, you can be the home it, team if you want. If you got no, more... it, it, it is your show, actually. Should, I should be... The, I'm, the, I'm the guest. I should be the... That, that fits. Well, that did we... Fits. How did we play the first time we played? I don't remember. We, put, we, 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 haven't, we, haven't, we haven't even played this year. Remember, we couldn't connect early on. But didn't we play the first time you were on the show? No, I don't think we did. Oh no! Because think... we played Diamond Dynasty. I played Diamond Dynasty because you. Or we played. Uh, yep. We were doing Battle Royale because you were walking dogs and stuff. Yeah, so I, I don't. I don't think we played this year, and uh, this will be our, our inaugural matchup. Let me ask you a question. Uh, Can I ask you a I'm question? Better. Yeah. Since we're both striving for seventeen fifty, do we put the difficulty on Hall of Fame? Absolutely. Boom! I'm in. Uh, guest pitch off. Quick counts off. Strike zone on. Wait, guest pitch off. No, I'm just. Hot zones. You want to put hot zones on preview? Uh, that's totally up to you. I'm, I really I, am completely I mean, yeah. unmoved by that. But Bo- yeah, it's... box on. Hey, by the way, I did that on accident one time. And you played the best game of your and... life because only jerks. Leave no, 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 no. It was over in like we had to restart in two seconds because my opponent balked like four times in a row. That's funny. Uh, it was a couple years ago, the, the first or second year of Diamond Dynasty. There were weeks where they would like change the settings, and every once in a while they would put box on. And people had no idea what a balk was, so they just watched my like I would walk, and they would just see my guy go around the bases because they didn't and they're know probably what they like, were doing. What is happening? All right, here we go. Go tweet out the link. Yeah, same here. My challenge has been accepted. It sure has. What what stadium are you gonna put us at? Uh, Since it's the All Star, shouldn't we play at San Diego? They don't. Uh, they don't have an All Star well, stadium no. here. I, That's, yeah, I know it's not All Star, but we play in San Diego. Coast. I know, she but did. but in the regular mode, don't they have an All Star? They have an All Star San Diego stadium or no? I think they do. I would assume so. Seven p.m. in July would be the All Star time, right? Yeah. And Mad Bum will be on the hill for the All Stars, right? So let's go, Mad Bum. Well, you can tell if I get a lefty, or if you get, if you see lefty, then. Yeah. I'm ready. I think it's gonna be fire right now, guys. If I can get a retweet of the tweet Keep that I'm just putting in the chat. Let's go, just... guy. Oh my God! You hate right. people that do this. Yeah, I saw what you were doing. I wasn't in the other room actually, though, so it doesn't really bother me. I didn't have to deal with it. Um, you got a righty. Uh, you got a righty too. Uh, Wait, so you know what that means. Boy. Later, Luke what? Roy. <laughs> He's boosted though. Yeah, but I got Jared Saltlamaki. So what do you need? Oh, I'll hit him right in his stupid face. Uh, what's the play? D. Jordan or Mookie Betts? I don't care. The people need to know. My team. I'm playing players I don't even like, son. Ah, uh, nah, that sounds like a built-in excuse. I'm I don't want to hear you know. any of that. Tr- oh, nah, 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 oh nah. there it is. I okay. don't care. I knew there was someone this, I right? knew. Hearing this, Paul, right? I do not care there about anything like that. You play whoever's on your team, that's your team. I don't want to hear saying. about it. I'm letting you know. Nope, don't care is what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I, feel like there's, I feel like there's moves in this lineup I want to do. The, uh... War for the 2016 AL All Star Relief Pitchers. You ready for this? Yeah. So, who do you think is the fir- who? Who do you think is number one with a 2.5? Joanna Cespedes. Wait, wait. No, no. For relief pitchers <laughs> for the American League. League. Uh. Did I just do that? I just did that. That's a ballsy play right there. Is it your boy Britain? No. Well, can you name them first, and then I'll tell you. I'll name okay, so Batances, Kimbrell, Colome, let's just do this team. Uh, Davis, Herrera, Andrew Miller, yes. Zach Britton, Herrera, uh, 
Bam. Look at this. Harris Gosh. and Brock. Are you seeing this double Herrera legend game? Or Harris. Yeah, I was going to say that. It's double legends. With Is it a Herrera? 2.5 war. Harris. Yes, it's Herrera first. Her Harris is my second guess. One Bradley Brock. <gasps> I should have known that the only reason oh, I cared was because me, it was yeah. an Oreo. Yeah, that's my <laughs> fault. When you knew, it was, you knew it was coming. Yeah, I botched that. I just happened. To, I, I just happened to be checking. Coming from uh, the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Keith Law. Yeah, that's 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 dirty. Oh, TJ, cool, cool uniforms this year. Those are way different than last year's. Thanks. Yeah, those are the. Uh, I'm, I made them with the uh, Coastal Carolina in the World Series. I, I like it. I like it. I have my hat coming soon, I think, and my T-shirt should be coming as well. Ooh, the Saber Hagen. How do you like the Saber Hagen, Paul? So far, so good. Hmm. Oh, so great. far, so good. I like yeah, a lot I, of the players you get with that too. Pretty pleased with it. Well, they just listed 24, uh, 2015 stats for Brett Saber Hagen. What the heck was that all about? Oh man, that's the new that thing. That like, yeah, what what would they be doing? <laughs> like, what stats were those in twenty? Like, what what twenty fifteen stats did he have? But yeah, I've only I've only had one full start with him. I think I used him in a BR like a long time ago, uh, when I was more open to drafting like diamond, and gold pitchers pretty regularly. But uh, since he joined my team, I got because I got a Wade Davis the other day and finished that set. Put him on the team. I blasted a guy right away, so it's only been one start, so I don't know exactly how good he is. We'll see. Jay, but I liked him. It was a good use. Nice. Been thinking about it because I think I'm only like the Hosmer and the Kane away. Yeah, and uh, those are easy to get. Yeah, exactly. So Joey Votto with that, uh, he's got a nice IE boost right now, right? He's a beast. He probably needs to go back to Diamond. He is my – actually, I'm using him and my team as a platoon with uh, Goldschmidt. That's a hell of a platoon. Isn't it? <laughs> I was doing – I was going Votto, Miggy, and then oh, – uh, So good. I had to get Will Myers on the team, so Miguel Cabrera is not even on my – Nice. That's commitment, Paul. Commitment to the uh, results. Exactly. Um, TJ, how do you like Bly Levin? Because he gets crapped upon it in – in the community pretty badly, but these curveballs I'm seeing are pretty legit. Not a huge fan. Oh, then uh, why is he in your lineup? Usually I take him out, but there's oh. usually a starter with an IE boost, and I'll take him, I'll put him in for him. Uh, but yeah, the problem with the Bly Levin is two fastballs, two curveballs. So he has yeah. two pitches, essentially. Chad, don't forget, if you are new here, welcome. Welcome to Bullpen Banter. Normally every Monday night at 10 p.m. Eastern Daylight. Is it Eastern Daylight Time? Eastern. I just, I just say Eastern time. Yeah, Eastern Makes time, easy. whatever it is. Normally 10 p.m. We are on Tuesday because of obviously July 4th. Uh, welcoming Paul Spore of Fangraphs.com. Also of the, the start starting pitchers guide. That's what I wanted to talk about. SP guy is it SPGuide.com? Yeah. Yep. Wait. Is it the SP, no, SP, SP guy. SP guy. I think it's the SP guy. Working on that now because I'm putting the link into the chat. Thank you. So absolutely. Um, Paul writes for fan graphs. Also, the SB Guide writes updated all year, right? Yeah, um, it's it's. Uh, we haven't had updates. We were re I really slacked in June, but they'll be back for the rest of this. Let me tell you about Anthony Rizzo and the drop step. Phenomenal. You like that? You like that defense? He, he's good at at going back on on the ball. Yeah, he's pretty good. Uh, he's definitely good at going back there into the bullpens and stuff. Uh. Oh, I like Great your fighter. little uh, yellow collar. Is that is that lifted from Coastal Carolina too? I know they had the teal jersey, but yeah. your little accent there. Yep. Stuff. Their, what's, their what's, sleeves are a little different. What's your affinity? To, is there any connection to them, or did you just like them watching the World Series? Uh, my sister goes there. Oh, okay, awesome. So she got me the their road hat was on sale. They didn't have the regular hat. And that's uh, really cool. I guess she's getting she's getting me a championship shirt. Awesome. Pretty pumped about this. Also so in the chat, just real quick, also in the chat, we just put up the link for the SPGuide.com, um, Twitch TV slash PSpore24. Normally streams almost every night from what I can tell. <laughs> um, yeah, usually Mondays and uh, Sundays and Mondays off usually, but of course the holiday was yesterday, so we actually went nine hours yesterday. Ooh. Um, and also giving show tips a run for his money with roster predictions. <laughs> 
True. Don't tell. Uh, don't tell Tibbs that. Tibbs is here. That's why I'm saying I know. it. I know. <laughs> but yeah, definitely want to give Paul a follow. Also um, on Twitter at Spore. So. Uh, Chris, you can also do. Uh, get in there. Uh, you can do apostrophe. Uh, not apostrophe. What's that thing? Uh, exclamation point. Exclamation point. BB for the relevant bullpen banter stats or information. And there we go. Uh oh, Showtip's got something deleted. Oh, Showtip oh. went caps on us. Power swung. Got a, got a I, five six and LL. I was a little bit nervous there. That pitch right when I threw it. Not with those. Uh, yeah, and the archive for Bull Commander will be up on youtubecom slash gamer probably tomorrow. <clears throat> Depends on how fast Twitch to YouTube and YouTube editing works. Sabrehagen might be perfect if he had a curveball, I would say. I feel like uh, Bly Levin would be perfect if he had a changeup. Well, yeah, if he had anything but <laughs> yeah. two, of the, two of the same pitches. Yeah, we've, been see we've actually been digging into some of these pitchers. A lot of them have, like, two speeds, and that's it. See, that's, that's the thing. If you've got different velocity levels, that can Get like a get like a mid nineties fastball, mid eighties like slider, maybe a mid seventies you know twelve six. That's where the money comes. Absolutely. Uh, Tips does stream. Uh, over at is it a uh, Squarespace Twitch TV slash Squarespace or? Yep. Thursday nights. Uh, every other Thursday. Walking off. We were just on not too long ago. Yeah. Last uh, uh, last Thursday. Actually, Paul's a part of that as well. Um, before we forget, <laughs> yeah, is it score is it score space and then it's score space pro space on dot, Twitter. Yeah, scorespace dot org. Uh, and also with tips, we are doing a giveaway for a uh, he got an Eddie Gamboa signed baseball. Uh, you can enter to get that by donating to thatsportsgamer dot com slash extra life. Uh, we're raising money for the Children's Specialized Hospital of New Jersey again this year. Uh, or you can also retweet or favorite the tweet that he put out. Uh, so make sure you follow at MLB the show underscore tips on Twitter. LOL also, Marcos men saying I'm losing when the score is zero zero. Listen, Marcos, I'm sorry you cheer for such a terrible team, but you don't have to take that anger out on everybody else. Marcos, uh, uh, a give me some wind. Member of the uh, Spore fan club. Grass on second. Okay. Also, also seeing the chat. Welcome, uh, Chase G was the last winner of the Carl Dude Classic 2. Huh. Uh, welcome. welcome to the chat, Chase. Uh, don't forget, you guys can follow us on Twitter, at that sports gamer at MillenniumOS, and at Sporer. Whew. I need to start laying off those. I've been swinging those way too much recently. Marcos, you misspelled that kappa. Get through. <laughs> I'll take one. I'll take one. Oh, Cubs fan in the building. Hey, Cubs fan, uh, just real quick, what are your feelings on the Tampa Bay Rays? Wow. You're going to do them dirty like that, huh? <laughs> I'd like to know Cubs fans' internal uh, workings for when he sees the Tampa Bay Rays logo. Wow. Left that wide over. Wait, what? What? what, what what's the story there? Uh, one night I was like, hey, does anybody want to play? I want to. Oh, yeah, yeah, stuff. that's right. Yeah, yeah, you played him with you. And it did not go well. That race team, you can build a pretty legit race team. Uh, Madden definitely left, left them in, a, in good, you know, good for gaming. Not great. I think they got some pieces, but. But, I mean, if you have the, uh, if you have the Casimir and the Crawford, you're pretty set. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that Casimir is dirty. Is you really have like to Crawford? Yeah, the Crawford's nice. Well, you especially if you slap it like you did your first at bat there, poor Paul. Yeah, Spore. I I am yes. definitely a, uh, a more contact oriented. The old the old X button. Ooh, that's why you oh. get yourself a flashback, Adrian Beltre. He's... Some would say he's the best defensive third baseman in the game. Can I don't I think it's with some. Them? I think it's everybody. I wish yeah, I could hit thing. with that Beltre. 
well, it's it's like you said, Beltre has a weird stance to where, and I think a lot of people have this problem: the closed stances. Yep. I, yeah, I, I think especially against righties, like a righty closed stance against another righty. Yeah, it's only been a, a handful of BRs with him, so I, I, I'm I'm not comfortable making like a full distinction on it. But so far, so bad for me with throwback knowledge. Uh, Chase, I did not catch Cashman on Olney's podcast. I have it in a queue. Um, but if you want to let me know what was said, I'd be awesome. I'm v- I'm always interested to listen to Cashman because he has a very unique experience in baseball um, on a, on the team that he's been on. So, uh, Hall of Fame, not as easy as. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot. We were using <laughs> My pitching's been like, oh, this is a little tough. <laughs> yeah, that is definitely seeing a difference. Oh, Cubs fan, I'm just, I'm just messing with you, dude. Maybe I didn't need it. I don't think See, you, you might not need the thing. That's funny is whenever I'm not playing, I get to be savage, so I take advantage. Because when I am playing, it's pretty much a show. <laughs> wow. Apparently Cashman went on Olney's podcast and said, hey, call now. Let's talk. Everybody. I think he meant, no, no. I, I think he meant uh, Cashman means for trades. Yes. Yeah, are shop. they going to sell or are they not selling? They said they're talking about selling, but we'll see what actually happens. They said they're having they're having discussions on all the relievers. That's gone. Get yep. up. Get up. One. Show tips if we're taking callers. It's funny. On uh, it's last no. week's uh, walking off, uh, my topic that I brought into the show was who are players that play super amazing for you? Uh, J.D. Martinez, an absolute monster for me. Yeah, his ratings are amazing. Really good. By Tough part way, is that defense. After that conversation, I hit a home run with uh, Kyrkin this weekend. Very happy. I want that Cal. About time. Oh, the Cal is so nice. I always pick it in VR. Uh, somebody had a question that uh, that Millennium didn't read. Uh, Josh, read the pop, that popular gamer asks, oh, Josh yeah. Donaldson or Nolan Arenado? It's going to sound crazy for me because um, I'm an Arenado guy. Jeez, take your I time. Think I think Donaldson might be the might be the play. Um, I don't think you'll lose too much in terms of fielding between the two. Although, if you're buying one, it goes back to getting that that Rockies collection, and so oh, that I think that was so good. Yeah, and that's what makes people pick Arenado often. So I totally get that. Yeah, I, I'll take that back. Then I absolutely take that back. If you're between the two. And because after Arenado, you can pretty much get the collection for I think fifteen thousand stubs, maybe tops. P- pretty easily after that. That 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 Obaldo is worth it. Gee, you, you know, like like that said, my 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 dynasty or my uh, Diamond Dynasty rotation legitimately has Obaldo and eighty nine Weaver on it. Over Cannot believe like, he swung at that. <laughs> hey man, the catcher was diving for. Uh, final votes thoughts. I got uh, who did I say? Uh, I think you said Marte. I took Marte for the NL. Or no, I, I like Story. I have Story is my guy. Oh, Story. Snake Road. You and I agreed on Saunders. Uh, I like Saunders. I'll say, say Kinsler and anyone but Lamb because Jake Lamb sucks at baseball. He's freaking terrible. And anybody who likes or kind of goes for Jake Lamb. Probably stupid and doesn't really know anything about baseball. Also, also, don't forget to tweet at MLB the show hashtag uh, Big Cat Legend. That's right. We need Andres Galarraga in this game. <laughs> can I uh, can I ask a question? Is there anyone specific you are uh, speaking to, Paul, or just in general? He'll figure it out. <laughs> oh, don't worry, I already have. <laughs> A lot of people in chat booing Paul at this point. Paul has gone it, it, full it, heel. It, it, it was at it was at Marcos Chaos Pots. You need to chill out, man. <laughs> I don't even know you. Like you're nobody. Okay, so you need to relax. I know Marcos. That was directed at him. Like you're a clown. So you shut up. 
Ooh. What's going on, Snake? Got him with the clown college. Dude, thank you for thank you for the raid, Snake. Appreciate that. Snake and I have been going oh. back and forth raiding each other recently. It's, it's actually really fun. <laughs> um, but it. we talked about this on the Operation Sports stream. I'm going to mention it again that Snake has a home run tournament going on. So that that's culminating next week. Should be cool. Ah, ah, ah. How do I step out? Down. No, yeah. you can't anymore. Ah, ah, ah. It's fine. What did you want to do? You paused it. Can you uh, you want to step off for me? I I thought I did. Sorry. Right. Whoops! I picked the wrong guy. There. Oh, <laughs> come on! That could have been that could have been really bad. I, I accidentally hit the button and sent him. Jay Shiffy uh, Jay Shiffy says Kinsler has 16 home runs. Says he should win the final vote. I yeah, think he, he, he should he should have for sure. Marcos, I mean it, it's a bummer that he didn't make it, but I I, I cheer for worthwhile teams, so we get all stars all the time. Uh, if you guys could also go retweet my my tweet to be in that fans versus devs thing, that'd be great. I don't think it'll do anything, but that'd be great. Don't don't sleep on that. Uh, I don't think that I don't think that it's going to be a popularity contest to go to that thing. Well, first, whoever wins the whoever wins the challenge of the week, I think uh, Cardenberg's got that wrapped up, so it's not even. Does he was he was one point five million above everybody last time I checked? So. Jeez. No, no, he doesn't screw around. What's funny is, like, he'll mess around and get, like, fifth place, but when CB puts his mind to it, it's over. It's like GG. When there's something he wants, he's all over it. Yep. Snake, TJ's better than me, bro. It's not a surprising result. Every time Snake comes in, in like, a stream, I legitimately go in, like, Metal Gear Solid mode. It's, it's like, Snake. <laughs> Snake, No. <laughs> Why don't you just be like, what a weirdo. That is my favorite. According to sound. Paul's viewer, Cubs fan looks like Justin Turner. Yeah. Yeah. Someone said that yesterday. That. And um TJ, you have one for yourself, Millennium, you guys, because we were kind of going through the, the community. Snake's been Matt Harvey. Who I love. Twin and I are both Christian Yelich. Uh yeah. My twin. Uh, yeah, the Yelich thing is you. Exactly. Corey Seeger for um Borrow boy, uh, Jock Peterson for clutch. Me and my twin brother really... have the same smile. Jeff Ooh. Francoeur. Oh, there you go. I just need to lose some weight to get my thin face back. I was gonna say, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, TJ looks like Gibbs. Like we, we Gibbs? I think they were long, yeah, you know, S. Gibbs of uh, my, Madden. My, or... my child, S. Gibbs. Like Madden. Yeah. That's not a baseball. Ball. I know it's not, but I mean, like, if you put the is two it... next to each other, Zach Gibbons, yeah, he, 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 the, uh, the great player out of Arizona. Yeah. Hot, bro. What? Oh man, TJ is a MLB that. player. Look at that bunt down. It's it's Jeff Francoeur. Look it up. It's Jeff Francoeur. I mean, I'm Jiffy. looking. I'm looking at his flashback card right now. Jiffy Potts would Potts would get banned if he mattered. Like he barely exists. Like who KS? Like who is that? Right? You know. So nobody knows who he is or cares who he is. So it's like not even worth banning him. Yeah, it, but it, I carry a huge hammer. And he does. So do I. Screw me, so Potts. Do I actually. So I know. Do I actually. So. I don't. I don't have that hammer out. here. Is that but, out? Uh, it's not out. No, no. chance. See, that, that's well, what I'm saying though. Is I've got the hammer here, and we all know my uh, fanboyism with Paul Spore. So yeah, let's so try not to screw with him. You're, 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 you're treading lightly. You, you should tread lightly here, Potts. Again, remember you're a nobody, so tread lightly. <laughs> Pepper Potts. Pepper Potts. Pot. Let's bring you to OS. Pepper Potts in OS the chat. Town. Holler. Rob, oh, Rob Deerdeck for beast mode? Oh, there you go. Also not that's a baseball, not a baseball player. player, dumb dumb. <laughs> Clutch Clutch is too short to be jock. <laughs> yeah, I mean we're not doing like I'm, <laughs> No, I know. Yeah, we're not doing height ones, but that's true. I, I have yeah, I have the body of listen, you and yell it's amazing. I've got the body of a day holy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I mean, God, if, what if, if I get like, the tan and don't shave, man, me and Miguel Cabrera couldn't tell the difference between the two of us. What are we doing? Uh, baseball player? I don't know. I have such a generic look. Well, I mean, I feel like I don't you have like a, agree with that. You have like a Jake Arrieta do. mid, like right after he shaved. Like, you know how Homer Simpson, he shaves, then like the beard just like pops back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you look like a... 
two day after a shave, Jake Arrieta. I'm. You know what I am? I'm Orioles Jake Arrieta. There you go. I was yes. gonna say the Orioles for when when he never smiles. He's just out there. Rick Adair is just beating him into the ground with the wrong pitching. Uh, yeah, the wrong ban- pitching stuff. Banning pitches that he can't. Use. Yeah, don't throw that cutter. Why not? I don't know. Just don't do it. Too, too good. Yeah, it's too good. <laughs> We're gonna give the other team a chance. Oh man, who do I got? Who do I got in long relief? That's my question. Does it matter? You're killing me. <laughs> team Mills, Arietta when he sucked, <laughs> snake. Oh man, yeah. Feeding the Brewers costs a lot because everyone wants to feed them. WD. Um, it's Brewers, Padres, Dodgers, and are there's the, one. Oh, the Mariners. Mariners. Yeah. yeah, the Mariners cost a lot too. Their silvers cost a ton. Ah, that's because I get those points. Yep, the each the each row is so popular. Here's the question: you know what, though? Are the Go golds ahead. cheap enough that you can that it makes it worth it? Like Ian Kinsler uh, was so cheap, it took like three Ian Kinslers to do the uh, the Tigers one. Who do you get for Tigers? Uh, Did I get that? Uh, that's questionable. That's three to two. Go, fucking go! Uh, oh, pardon me. Well, I don't know. Watch the language. <laughs> Watch, Go! watch the French. Uh, who is the Tigers? Uh-huh. Tigers collection or command? Uh, it's Jack Morris for the feed. Jack Morris, yeah. Oh, how is that Jack Morris? He's all right. I wish he threw a little harder. Yeah. That, they, they, they got a weird thing going on with those guys, too. Uh, the old guys with their canine, because their canine compared to today is absolutely pure, utter trash, like when you kind of compare the two. But they should really kind of do contextual, right? Because... Maybe his sticks came. Oh wow! wow. He did calls um, like, a, like a six point oh nine back then was actually pretty decent. So I don't know. I kind of think that they should do relative to their era because otherwise these guys like none of these throwbacks unless they bring in a Clemens or like a Randy Johnson is going to have a good K nine. Yep. Yeah, I agree. Where's my because like Saber Higgins is fifty. That's pretty Paul. bad. Yes. Paul, that yes. Annabelle Sanchez though. I believe it's Ani Ball. Oh, they're, they're, oh yeah, yeah. That Sanchez, that Sanchez is awesome. That's what um, I mean. I don't care what his name is. He's lit. <laughs> he's really good. He's in my rotation. Mill, I think you, I think you got I think you got the 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 band hammer coming out on pots. Let's at least time him out, man. Pepper Potts like, getting not, the band hammer? Yeah, I mean he's not funny. Here's what I don't understand. Worthwhile, like he's he's trying to get banned. Let's give him what he wants. I don't understand why Pepper Potts doesn't show up in more Marvel movies. Can we discuss that for a moment? Uh, want to pay Gwyneth Paltrow? Yeah, I, that's what it is. I feel like yeah, you gotta. Sh- she should be popping up more, right? Yeah, yeah but you said you gotta pay her. You, you, yeah, you gotta. Gonna, gotta gonna gonna how, much, how much you paying her? Let me check out uh, no, 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 well, on. You're paying her first of all for a smaller part, vital part because it's kind of Tony's glue yeah. for the most part. But that's what that's the whole point is. Tony starts cracking and Pepper leaves. That's the that's the that's where it goes. But now she's uh, what you call it? Why wasn't she in Civil War? What? I, I I can't I can't get too deep on this. I never read comic books. So at, the end, at the end, of, on <laughs> at the end of Iron Man three, right. she's a flame girl, right? Right. That, she got a real name. Is that, a, is that a real character? I think they kind of did that flame to her girl. off of comic book line. Okay, I don't know what the com- what her character. I don't know what the name of the character is in. The oh, comic why book. can't I get a call? That was uh, sorry to interrupt. But why wasn't she in Civil War? I didn't see Civil War. I assume she's not in it. <laughs> oh, Civil War was great. I don't remember. Civil War was amazing. And Pepper I don't Potts think was in it. in it. She would be on his side, right? Uh, no, actually, she would probably try to talk sense into him. Mm, nah, she's uh, the twins, the twin silvers are high because that Killebrew and Carew combination are are good for smart man, uh, smart yeah. man, Paul Spore. Who was that? JD Martinez. You walked that Martinez. I mean, I'll that was not. I walk it out. Yeah, Maybe just for so intention. just for comparison's sakes, the silvers or the golds right now. Kyle Seeger is fifteen hundred, right? The silvers on the Mariners. Ben Waz at two two eighty. Gutierrez is at eight hundred. Will Helmsen is at eleven hundred. I mean Iwakuma, they're all above two fifty. So <laughs> not gonna yeah. get me three times. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I could. That would have been awesome. <sighs> I knew you were going up there. I've heard a lot of people like the crew. I just not my I was great with crew last year. Um too I much, used them too a much little slappy. bit this year. Yeah, I mean 
again, I, I do like the contact first approach, but I, I, I have not hit well with him. Let me tell you a story about if you're trying to get an Ichiro, if you're trying to get an Ichiro, let me, let me tell you somebody else you can go look at with some defense and some hitting. Starling Marte. Another 250 innings into, into the Nationals and go get you on Andre Dawson. How about Starling oh, Marte? there you go. There yeah, is, Marte's pretty good. What was the number that I looked up? No one has the contact and speed, the contact, speed, and fielding of Starling Marte. Yes, I agree. Like there's, he has no. Like if you put his stats in daddy leagues on the filters, there's no one else. There was like th- uh, there was like three guys. I think it was Ichiro, Tony Gwynn, and like Lorenzo Cain. But Lorenzo Cain wasn't shouldn't be there or something like that. I'm not gonna lie. Like part of the allure for me with Ichiro is is the fact that it is Ichiro. You could put a Jim Smith in there with the same stats and make him like half the price and i would still want the ichiro more just because it's ichiro yeah. and i love right. ichiro yep i just got a hit with my pitcher i feel like rocker should... good oh, i'm sorry Cubs fan and rocket power zombie both talking about the kinsler the second base <laughs> for the rangers beast speed oh, so steals contact power oh yeah it... oh, why is tj getting these calls getting man? them because I, I know who their ump is is what millennium would say i bet i bet millennium does Millennium, do you uh, know the umps? Uh, who's the ump? Do we know uh, the no, name? I, I mean, yeah, let me, I'll, I'll look up the name. I've I'll got a book on all of them, trust me. Snake oh. Doctor, not a fan of... Had some trouble with Lorenzo Cain against me. I can, has I, not gone well. I can't hit with him. I love Lorenzo Cain. He should, he's not in my lineup right now. You I were raking with him before. I remember Yeah, yeah. I, I, I have beasted with him. We got Mike Fillmore behind the dish right now. What do you know about old Fillmore? Uh, Mike Fillmore rarely misses but gives the edges to the pitchers. Oh, Little, pff, we're seeing that except for when I hit the edge. <laughs> I believe it's Millard Fillmore. Home field advantage, right? Millard Fillmore. <laughs> was he, pre- he wasn't president. I think he was VP. He no, was no, president. you're right. He, he was president. Right. It's the second time in two days I've heard his name, by the way. Uh, he popped up on Raw last night. Great episode of Ghost Rider he was on. Ghost Rider. I'm sending Saberhagen. Let's tie this game. Who was that noodle arm out there? And right, was that JD? Or left, I should say? No, that was uh, Chris Bryant. I just I took a shot. with. Uh, you, you really don't want to make the first out at home, but I said that. You want to know a secret, Jay Shiffy? When you're playing the game... Nah, uh, bro. Against, against, <laughs> against the computer... <laughs> Within the first inning, they tell you the umpire. Yeah, yeah, but he's saying saying that he doesn't. He he wants your notes. Is basically what oh, he, he wants. Is. My notes, isn't it? Yeah, on yeah. My book, isn't it he on wants... Operation Sports? It is not. Yeah, I think you're keeping that for yourself. I believe I heard you say that on, on sort of this show. It's or it's being written up. I believe okay. me. There's more of it on the computer than there is. I, it's all on a Google Keep note, so it's not hard. You know what that DM. Yeah, oh. I know where that DM is. Get out. Oh, come on. Nice play. Nice play. What? That, okay. I don't know what you saw what, on your screen, it. but it looked like he threw it into the stands almost, maybe? Oh, no, no, no. He made a great catch and then threw it right down. <laughs> I've seen that. What was the one on the not top 10 plays on walking off where the guy caught it in the uh, left yeah, field? Yeah, faithful. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to interrupt. I no, know faithful. I know JD doesn't, but I thought he made a bad throw there. Mm-hmm. Um, is that a grand slam? Uh, I guess. Nope. But we'll take the lead. Uh, faithful Nate that? says faithful Nate. They did confirm. Uh, Show tips was here earlier. The devs did confirm that flashbacks are in packs to stay, which excites me to things to to ways I cannot even begin to talk about. What was the point where I interrupted you? I apologize. What totally point good. were you about to make? Oh, geez, that's gone. There was there was no point. Believe me. Oh, okay. By the way, someone's making a made a great point here. Tat one hundred and one, and this is this is couldn't be more right. Obviously, ac- accentuated by the Manny Machado run there. Uh, innings one through three for Bly Levin are fifteen greater signs better than innings four through six, and that's where you get caught up with the two pitch problem there mm-hmm. because second time through uh, order, it's yeah. Like most guys in like real baseball have a problem third time through the order with, with the Bly Levin, you got to be committed to taking him out early, even when he was dealing. Cause you were killing with him. I understand why you kept him in, but it, it got really easy to kind of figure out what you're going to do. But Hey, Marcos, remember when you're talking that shit? 
ban ban Marcos just for talking that trash. Yeah, you know, sorry to swear. Uh, ban, ban him forever. <laughs> ban for, I mean Marcus. Sorry, dude. You know how Marcos it goes. talking that trash when I hadn't even given up a run yet. Oh, there it goes. He's done. Oh. Got him. I mean, unban you can you can unban him. I, I, am, I, am. Okay. <laughs> I figured. I figured you. Hit him with the T.O. so he learns a lesson. The worst thing oh, Paul ever did was blue. mod me in his channel. <laughs> no like, way, man. Didn't, I, it was like people I banned somebody. for like 30 seconds. No, I need somebody with the uh, with the quick hammer like me in there. Oh, you know who I got it. I, I, I'm, no, I can't I'm done dealing with people. Attention. Yeah, I, 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 listen. My thing ever since I started streaming was I'm too old to deal with trolling. I'm, I'm going to smash you up right away. Wow. Did you guys see what Snake Doctor went through? 220 oh, yeah. packs, one flashback, and it was a 77 Wade Miley. It's tough. I mean, what? that Wade Miley can play, right? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, nice, nice play there. I thought you might punt. Now I got to score like, four, so. Then I was like, TJ is not a teaser, but no, I'm just kidding. That's actually oh, pretty, pretty, yeah. pretty, pretty viable bun with the guy that you did. Like, By I the way, I bunted. With Ian Kinsler, you ready for this? The the flashback Ian Kinsler against a guy who was um oh. was using Edward head first Internacion at third base, and, I, I, and he, got, he got mad at me immediately. That was a ball. Why did you do that? I said, don't ever play that terrible guy at third base again. How was that yeah, a ball? That, that's teaching your lesson. That, that, that. Millard Fillmore can piss right off, man. <laughs> it does piss count as a swear? Like I, that's ridiculous. Ridiculous. I thought you were going low and away change up, and I was like ready to go oppo and score D Gordon from first on that. Change your notes to Millard Fillmore is the biggest idiot Put it ever. God. Actually, the uh, those, I, are, those I, are the I, initial yeah. notes, by the way. There, there's consistency and bias involved as well that they don't talk about. So I, I have some expanded notes based on that. He's got. He but. was given. He was given the outside. He wasn't given the inside. TJ gave that uh, 3-0 green light. I, I respect it with a four-run deficit. That was 3-0. I didn't even... <laughs> Chase, Jason oh. here just trolling Snake. So Snake pulled 220 packs and got one flashback, right? Yeah. Chase pulled Trout and Manny both today. <laughs> I think uh, I did... Chase is... Go ahead. He's been, he's been having great pack luck, great BR luck. His reward changed from, like, flashback Kane to flashback Maurer. He, things are just going really well for Chase right now. In addition to the fact that he's also a great player, so it's like, what else can go? Yeah, I was gonna say, forget the fact that you know he's a top tier stick skill guy. <laughs> yeah, like he, like he needs the good cards. He can be running people up with a silver gold team, let alone the fact that he's getting mad diamonds now. <laughs> Snake's already banning Chase in his stream. <laughs> <laughs> Cubs fan says he's pulled Trout twice. I pulled him once. That's all I needed. Yeah, same here. And it was an online pack, which I don't think online packs are better. I know there's a lot of people that I think that's just biased toward the fact that you remember whenever you pull a big one online more so than when you do it on the game. But um, yeah, it was pretty sweet. I was. Yep. <laughs> what was funny was I was actually in the middle of, or not in the middle. We were about to start podcasting. I was like, I'll just open the pack while we're preparing the podcast with Eno. And I pulled the trout. And I, I couldn't contain my excitement, but, like, could have told him. He wouldn't have known what the heck I was talking about. Kind of, <laughs> it was kind of wasted. Snake said he pulled Wainwright twice, and that was all the pack luck. Use it all. Yeah, that was pretty That was pretty dope, though. You have to admit that. If that's what you're going to use your pack luck on, at least you used it on double Wainwright. You are watching the fact that TJ literally is putting his controller down and his hands in front of his face, right? <laughs> At times. 3-0. Had, yes. had to put it I, down. I've been, I've been seeing Oh, I hate that bell tray. I'll do that. So give me give me that many sure shot. I, I take. I just got I got to take. Ah, oh, under it. <clears throat> yeah, Cubs fan said he pulled him in the pack that. and then got him as a daily reward. Drop it. That's awesome. I got him as a reward last year. That was like yeah, I got Stop him. Stop crying. What did I get him? Oh, I got him as a free pack after after bullpen banter one one night. Yeah, because I hate you. The free the login pack. Because yeah. I hate you. Yeah. <laughs> that 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 picture sent over the Slack will never ever go away. I mean, I probably will because there's only, I don't pay for it, so there's a limited number of tweet, Slacks. 
I still have the picture if you want me to send it. So you might want to save that just in case. You also tweeted it, I believe. Oh, I absolutely tweeted it. Mm, Matt Bucks Mutt, why does it keep buffering for you? Uh, There are a lot of people that. that. that Yeah, get off that Taco Bell internet, buddy. (laughs) Stop stealing from your local Taco Bell. That's a that's a that's a uh, Carl joke. I gotta admit to taking that from Carl because it's really funny. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw Pasta Padre changed from directional hitting to zone hitting today. I know Millennium saw. Yep. Wait, why, why was he using directional? He's Pasta Padre is a child. He's a I small guess. small child. I thought he was lit at this game and would and would know to do that. That also brings up a great point in terms of we're all we all kind of get used to being. I mean, not experts, but advanced players in the game for the most part. Mm -hmm. And we forget that a lot of these guys online that, you know, don't have, don't go to like operation sports or don't go to, don't watch walking off or don't have Twitter. A lot of them are just trying to play the game like the best they know how and don't understand that you get that penalty for using directional hitting. So that's why you go to my YouTube channel and you look at my hitting strategy. I remember there's a big dispute, and I can't remember who was in my stream. I don't think it's anybody that was like a regular or anything, but like really disputing that zone doesn't have any advantage. Like, why would they make it so that one hitting is better than the other? And it's like, it's just more rewarding, man. Like, I, I don't know. It, it's a bigger risk reward than. So. Yeah, of course. Of yeah, course, absolutely. But, it, but, but it's just, it's way better. Like, I don't, I don't know why it was so difficult for whoever that was to get. Uh, Snake, yeah, you get a penalty for using directional or straight analog not zone analog but if you switch to full analog or because it's essentially timing hitting um directional yeah you can push left or right but it's uh, you get a penalty for either directional a timing window penalty you have your timing window shrinks in directional and straight analog zone button and zone analog you don't get a penalty for i think paul started using zone after i told him to right um, actually, you, I think you, among others, got mad that it was actually when Cardinal Bird told me, like, oh, you listen to Cardinal Bird. <laughs> it was just, he was the straw that broke the camel back because everyone kept telling me. It just, was honestly, honestly the greatest switch that I ever made. Just because, say you learned it from me because everybody learned it from me uh, immediately does amazing. I mean, honestly, I doubled my hits count overnight. I, I, I just, I, I didn't necessarily, for those that have gone in my stream, they know I love to strand runners, so it didn't necessarily translate into runs all the time, but I, du- <laughs> I doubled my options, and it, so it instantly made me a better player. My big change is here. I've always been a zone hitter, um, but I was zone button before, and now I've switched over to z- zone analog. Uh, How just, is that? It just gives me a better feel. You flick up for, co- for your X swing, you flick left or right for contact, and you hold down and then flick up for power. So really interesting. It just feels better. I feel like I get a better reaction time than with buttons. Uh, zone with buttons, DJ. That's how. That's how yeah, DJ. Zone with buttons or zone with analog both don't get a penalty. Um, straight, pure analog and what was the other one? I keep talking. Oh, directional. Um, get penalties. Hey, I mean, there are worse people to learn. There are worse people to learn things from. Than TJ. <laughs> no, than Cardinal Bird. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Uh, you, you go top five player in the world. I mean, yeah, absolutely, you're doing absolutely. Something right, Marcos. You learned everything from. That's why you're so good. Which that's not a burn, by the way. That's you listened to what he said, and, and now you're awesome. I think Marcos I, is tot- toting like a 19 something rating. I think my big change this year was I was a meter guy last year. Oh, what, um, you were, well, I went, I went back and forth. A I was a meter, meter pitching, ah. meter pitching, and then I went to pulse pitching, and then now pulse? I'm. Looking, yeah, and then now uh, it was terrible. <laughs> it was oh. not good. Well, Pulse, you remember Pulse was actually good I when played... the online was really bad. Well, see, and the thing is, when before I became and like I started playing online, I played a ton of franchise and used classic pitching because okay. I was all I wanted the ratings to be the number one determining yeah. factor. And then I started going, well, I really want to have some more input into the game, so I moved myself to meter. And then I said, you know what, too much. I'll go back to Pulse. And then I started playing online and said, i got to fix this. And then this year I'm on analog pitching, which I love. I don't do well with it. I get, I get told in a lot of times to use it. I've tried it. I'm terrible with 
Well, I don't think there's any... There's no differentiation in terms of accuracy or anything between analog and meter, I don't believe. I think it's, I think it's a feel thing. I've had a friend tell me that it's like um, he just has such a better feel with, with analog. He just like really feels like he's pitching or whatever. So I, I don't know. I, I've just I've used meter forever. Um, what do you guys think of the of the two K system where they had kind of the you pick the pitch and then you do the little like you do the little. I thought that was uh, all right. Animal. I think that was the last yeah. year two K was good. Yeah, it was it was pretty decent where you had to kind of move different directions for stuff. Yep. I liked it. Cubs fan TJ said you're you're too easy to play. So uh, I moved up. I, I'm I'm not in spring training level. He's not in that Yeti level yet. Yeah, I don't. I play the Yetis already. Why do I want to play? Yetis? Yeah, if you ever want to see the new Yeti. defensive animations for playing people out of position, play the <laughs> that's a good point. They're all catchers in the field, and you see these weird throwing animations that look like you know little leaguers just learning how to like out of the womb. It's not good. Oh god, how do you even hit that Zobrist though? There's this new button on the controller they added this year. It's dope. You should use it. Oh, the contact button? Yes, sir. The, oh, uh... you, oh, so wait. You you are... Um, do you decide before, or did you, do you, can you switch on the fly? You see that where no, that pitch I, is going, and you no, just decided was, to make a contact? No, I was, I, that, once it was 0-2, I was like, I'm, let me go to contact oh, okay. and see what I can do. And the same thing with LaCroix hit. I was like, 0-2, let me see what I can do here. It was yeah. basically the same pitch, I think, too. Oh. That was huge. Telling you, anyone that wants proof, hey, he's just sick. He's absolutely sick. Give me that call, Fillmore. I'm out of water. <laughs> get water. He's gonna sit the controller down, walk away, and come back to a three-one count. Yeah, go get some water. No, it's all right. It's probably. All right. It's, fine. it's fine. He could get. He could get up, and I'd probably like. My girl Chase, likes Chase to... with the Carl power all the time. Yeah, power all the time. Yeah. Uh, what, PSP. I, I will stop swearing. Stop, I will not say what it is, but yeah, it's PSP. What? I'm not talking about the handheld video games. Oh! That was never close to being inbound. 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 Play. It was an inbound <laughs> pass. <laughs> that was way out of bounds. What am I what did I just go looking for? <sighs> Come on, Mucanius bets. Mucanius, I like that as. Jordan. Ooh. He's a triple and a homer away. Orioles putting what? it to Mita. 4 1. Yeah, he's already out. Uh, yep. Throw it away. And to some runners. Hey, you can boo PSPs all you want. I'm all about that Vita life. Vita life's good. No, I, I, he's, he's, I think he's booing. Oh, yeah. Okay. You do yes. that too. <laughs> Paul Severino take, Sporer. Take care, Cubs fan. Oh, see you Paul later, Cubs fan. <laughs> I believe that's what your name stands for. Uh, yes, Jake. Uh, Paul Severino's a beast, by the way. The MLB Network guy. Yeah, right. He's so happy that there is a Severino in baseball, so that people not, now know how to say right. It. <laughs> oh, that was funny. <laughs> it, it is. I mean, no, I don't think we're ever going to see a Lowerman or Thor, unfortunately. But you can play with a Lowerman in MLB The Show. That's awesome. Oh yeah, because you're. Like, isn't your isn't your name in the credits? No. Oh. Just in the game. Sorry, I confused you with somebody else. Somebody. Important. How'd you get your name in then? Look, I can't. I, mean, I don't know what, what name are you talking about? Like a like a prominent sports gaming site, maybe. Uh oh. Uh oh. In the credits. Uh oh. Was your game was oh, Operation Sports in there? I mean, we could be. Someone should probably check the credits and find out. I sh I should hope so. Never been to the credits. Never been to Operation Sports. Derek's name's in there, <laughs> and uh, Zoolander. Moonlight Swami's name is in there. Oh, oh what the heck? That, that was almost amazing. What did that bounce off of? <laughs> Maybe his face. I, I want to pop a replay. Actually, yeah, we're going to pop that replay. <laughs> See what happened there? What in the world was that? Was <laughs> I'm amazing. watching it now. That was amazing. Yeah, we're Beltre, up. poor guy. All right, I don't know how that, that bounce worked, but it hit him right in the shoulder. Yeah. Boink. Whatever. This game hates me. I made some pretty amazing diving plays, yes. Two and one game. Come on with these calls! I'm hitting those spots. That is such trash. I guess I'll be breaking. 
hit. All right, I just need four. Yeah, I. This game is so far from over. You have three bats left. I'm sorry, I haven't. Uh, I haven't come to the set. I'm sorry. That's all right. Nah, you should turn box on. I don't like if people do that. That was my bad. I'm sorry. Um, by the way, did, have you guys ever noticed that if you don't with some relievers, if you don't come set, then their control is way worse? Or is that just in my head? That might be psychological. Um, I've noticed when you don't warm them up, a lot of times there's like a delay. Yeah, they'll be, the meter. they'll be worse. But I, I, I feel like if you don't always come set, that the control is off. But I, maybe, again, maybe maybe crazy. Yeah. Maybe. Um, I that for me, I always come set just because I, I, I like I have a very specific like, <sighs> cadence I like to do. But I swear to God, like I don't usually gripe over one or two calls, but the <laughs> fact that TJ is getting all of these on the on the zone and I'm I'm not, it's kind of ridiculous. The best part is he literally he's literally on stream purposely putting his hands in front of the camera to make sure everyone can see that he's not touching the controller and watching you throw balls. It's ridiculous. He's he's swinging now though. Did you guys hear about thinking. Brian Pena, Pena today? What happened? Uh, he announced that he's going to join the U.S. Army Reserve this off season. Nice. Wow. Cool. He's a, he's a good guy. Uh, he was in Detroit for a couple or maybe at least one year. Um, See a snake. Yeah, Chase is right uh, about about this game. Not that that's why this game is so not over because my seventh through ninth innings are not my strongest, despite using like elite relievers all. They need to get rid of that drop glove enemy. I have no idea what you're talking about. When the rel reliever comes in and drops his glove, you've never seen that? No, I don't watch his animations. What are you crazy? What's what? next? What's next? You're tell me you listen to the commentary? No, I hate when people complain about the commentary. Don't listen to it. It's not that difficult. Oh, they're yeah. not, I've been playing so bad. It. I've been playing so bad. Actually, uh, I think Kirby is in charge of commentary now, and it's getting better. What's that? Uh, I believe Kirby St. John is now in charge of commentary. Oh, it's actually, okay. it's actually yeah, been I getting mean, better, but I haven't really been listening. It's it's fun. Like I just I hate when people complain. It's fine. But the like they're thing, not the only thing is the normal stories that you hear in Diamond Dynasty. You like Diamond thing. Dynasty should be pared down. Literally, Lorenzo of... Kane does not play on my team anymore because I've heard the story of yes. Lorenzo Kane a thousand times. The Beltray, the Beltray May fifteenth story. I don't know what that is. Well, uh, you'll hear it. Don't worry. No, I won't. Ah! Oh, Finally. I, I thought it was the slider. Thought it was the slider. Yeah, when I was grinding with the Rangers, that's all I heard every time he came up. He was batting second for me. It was, and Adrian Beltre comes up May fifteenth, two thousand fifteen. Like just some. Stat. What did he do? Hit a cycle or something? I think that was the cycle. Yeah, where he got the cycle within, the, but before the fifth inning was over. Boom! Take oh. him out. Ah! <laughs> Rocket powered zombie in the chat. Did you know D Gordon's one of the good guys? <laughs> that's funny that they say that the year. Yep. I'm trying to think of something for the million. Ugh, that Kane one really does stand out because he was a staple in my team only until recently. They uh, Scooby, the 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 BR rewards. You're talking about the BR rewards change? Yeah, sometimes they do. It's not a yeah. surefire thing. So if you're like if you're like banking on it, it's it, it's just a dice roll. It's a coin flip. I would. Right. Oh God, I can't remember that. Um, and I would lean toward you know. It, like probably twenty eighty in terms of percentage chances that it's going to change. What BR rewards being better or that and sometimes they'll change and they're not even going to be better. Um, sometimes they'll change when the update comes out. If you just leave it oh. overnight. Did not know that. Uh, yeah, I did see Paul yeah, drop his controller yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I was displeased. I tuned in for a second. I was like, oh. <laughs> that was when I lost that cheese to UCLA fan. I was. So Who's that pitching for you, TJ Melanson? Yeah. Yeah, I figured. Saw the knuckle curve and went, wait a second. That lit cutter. That's why I left him in for, uh, what's his name? Because he had the cutter. Uh, for Edmonds. Mm. 
You guys have more power than I do about waiting for BR changes. If I'm in the middle of a BR, I'm playing my BR. I just <laughs> I need to finish. Yeah. Um one thing I would recommend though, like if you if you get up to like an eight and oh or something, you got like a really good twelve, you know you want to play it, but after a certain amount of games, I do think you, it is smart to take a break because it's it it's I don't know I don't know first off I don't know if I'm ever gonna get twenty but I certainly don't know if I would ever be able to do it in one sitting. No, I, and I can't play late either. I start playing late and like I'll grind innings late against the computer or whatever, but I'm not going online late because I play like crap. I legitimately start losing my uh, like my reaction time and. My mind starts fading off, to like instead of waiting, like thinking about the next pitch, where it could be and what it could be. Uh, I'm sitting there get, going, get "Yep, fatigued. well, this guy's got a fastball. I think I'm going to just sit on the fastball and react to everything else." Let's turn guess which one. <laughs> Chase, Chase was drunk, had rookie Matt Kane at six, was two and one. Woke up, had rookie Maurer. <laughs> so good, so awesome. There you go. So if you, if you have a reward you don't want, I mean, obviously, you, Matt Cain's no slouch, by the way. Yeah, think, that, would, uh, that would not have been a bad card it was to have. To, Boiler, yeah. right? Boiler was the one that wanted him so bad, right? Yeah, he, he, he finally got him. Yeah. So. <laughs> Beast mode hit with the Nightbot. Pwned. Pwned down. Apparently, McCann Dinger. Do I have an extra life thing in here? No. No. <sighs> you don't. You just have the loudest keyboard in the history of ever. Man. Deal with it. <laughs> Makes me a better writer. Sun sunglasses, come on. That's how those Deal tweets are so fire. So uh, you guys are going to see this, but uh, Manny played a night from the coach's box. Should've Wait, what happened? Probably should have been a foul ball then. Uh, no, no. Caught a, now you got one. Caught a, caught a foul ball over the bag, caught it at the edge of the dirt on the going towards the coach's box, and threw it from even with the coach's box. I believe the term is Coachella. So insane, Manny Machado is. Yeah. By the way, TJ, that was not like a favorable call. That was such a clear strike. Did you see my uh, my Twitter poll earlier? No, what, what was it? How uh, many great calls have I gotten compared to Paul and then you got both no. 99 for you, one for me. Do you think uh, Lindor, Correa, Machado, and Bogarts could become better than uh, Jeter, A-Rod, Nomar, and Tejada? Gee, I feel like I've heard somebody talk about that exact thing before. Someone in this room who's really awesome. I don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> I'm talking about you, Chris. I'm talking about myself. Yes, I, I, have, brought, I have brought that up. <laughs> I, I don't listen to that show. I just I, I give you the download and then I swipe right. I'm talking about <laughs> on my streams actually. I I, yeah, I do think that um, I think they have a chance to be. I really do. And I would honestly like I would include Addison Russell and Brandon Crawford in there. Obviously, you, you were talking about the very best of the best there, mm -hmm. so that's fine to kind of keep it off there. But just just this whole shortstop renaissance has a chance to be historically amazing. I mean, and one of the one of the best ones there, probably the best shortstop defensively, is hurt right now. We don't. Andrew. We don't. Even, we forget about him. Yeah, JJ. Oh, Andrew, Andrelton. Yeah, absolutely. Back, I, apparently, I think he's back. Yeah, I think yeah. he's back. But I yeah. thought he was oh, out for like the year. No, no, no. Busted up thumb. Not a couple months. I think. Yeah, I, I can surprised. literally watch Simmons play for That's hours. So and it's so okay. amazing. Imagine if a team had him and Chato. Imagine oh. if a team had like him and Mike Trout on it. They'd be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they were hoping for. Throw in like an amazing first baseman like an Albert Pujols and bring up his, just have rings. I get to watch Machado and Scope for three weeks. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. That's a double play combination. Let's just talk about how great these Dutch players are. You got Scope, you got Bogarts. Uh, uh, Kenley Jansen? Kenley. Uh, Kenley Jansen's carousel, never mind. That counts. And so is, yeah, that counts. And yeah. So is, uh, they all so play, is Bogarts. They will all play on the Dutch team. Uh, who else? Uh, I'd have to, there was an, at least one more. I have to look. El, Elvis is pretty good. I, I agree. That, Elvis Andrews. Elvis yeah, Elvis is on. Elvis is fine. He, he's a, he's a he's a plus shortstop, but not quite in the level of those guys. It was twenty fourteen as last World Baseball Classic, right? What do you think about Cattell Marte? 
Beast Mode, what's your 12? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, yeah, Didi's another one from Didi, the Netherlands. Yes. Oh, yeah. I love Didi. I think he's keep improving. Okay, that's I'm fair. Missing, missing a good defensive shortstop somewhere, too. Mm. I'm going over my head the one. <laughs> Alcides? Oh, Escobar's pretty good, yeah. Probably Shiffy, yeah. I am kind of tired. Yeah, I think I'm good. I'm still going to. We'll see. <laughs> so oh. I like that. Paul, Paul says, don't play after so long. Don't uh, don't play when you're tired. I'm streaming after this. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm late night streams. That's my that's my. Life. Oh, I, trust me. I know. I'm all about that late night beat. Uh, Andrew Kintim, Shoop. Bogarts. Yeah, what about yeah? What you know about Vladimir Valentin, guys? What about oh, because he's from? Are you saying guys from the other ones? Isn't he in um? Japan, fucking crushing. yeah, Watch raking. The language, guys. Wait, that was you. That was actually you. Oh yeah, <laughs> Orlando Arcia is on the rise for sure. He's gonna be part of that as well, Chase. He could oh, be Iglesias. Very, he could be very uh, Orlando Arcia from Milwaukee. Iglesias is an awesome defender. That might have been who you were. Yeah, that's what I meant. Sorry. Go back to the uh, Dutch. Uh, no, or, uh, Chase just brought up Arcia as another really good shortstop who's going to be lit. Yo, shout yeah. out to Deshenko Ricardo, who's a monster in out of the park baseball. Who? Uh, Deshenko Ricardo. Is that a made up guy? No, he's the backup catcher for the Dutch team. Oh, dude. A Danny Echeverria? Yeah, he's lit. Oh, man. He's really lit defense. I think he's another one. He and Didi could kind of go the uh, Brandon Crawford route where their uh, defense keeps them guaranteed playing, and then they kind of learn how to hit more as they as they age. I like players like that. Yadi Molina was like that. Yep. Defense will keep you in the show. Especially these days. It's favored more than it was in the early 2000s. Yeah, defense, and if you can play a couple positions. that That's huge these days. Be that guy. Trust me, I've been watching Ryan Flaherty for four years now. Right, man. I I kept thinking he would have a little bit of a, but he it's just not there. He's got there. some pop. I we mean, saw we saw you bring up Nick Ahmed. He's not. That, he's all right. Yeah, I mean Ahmed's okay. He, he can make some good defense. Like I feel like his defense has fallen off. He used to be really good. Now he's like he's drop drop good. drop. <clears throat> I'm gonna say yeah, Paul's was a very good game. I do yeah, like CJ uh, Crown. Like great CJ game. Crone. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. I refuse to set up any GGs until I win. I've blown too many games late. There oh, go. GG. Great game, TJ. That's the first time Fair I ever beat game. you. That was a lot of fun. You oh. pushed me. You pushed me, sir. Um, I'm TJ. What's up? TJ. Did you lose in the stream? Uh, <laughs> no. I don't think so. <laughs> I was the Detroit team. I'm a huge Detroit fan. My hat's over there. Tom Selleck? Yeah. Look at that. Those pretty two evenly matched players right there. Seven points apart, ladies and gentlemen. That was pretty good game. By the way, did you make that controller or did you find that logo? Did you made the no, I made that. of that logo. You made that? Yeah. That's really impressive. Should I put that up on the uh, on the logo vault? I mean, it wants to, like I, I just like it because I could never I have no kind of creativity. Uh, in that realm, so I could never make something like that. So I'm impressed that you made all the like little circles and all the shapes to do it. It's pretty, it's pretty impressive. Trust me, it took way, way too long. That's <laughs> I remember, why I was I like, remember that did process. You, remember how yeah, I remember the process was very like, vividly. Did you make that? I had it like half broken for like a month <laughs> before I went and <laughs> it back. Uh, where do you even see it? Hold on, let me see. I'm still uh, in chat, Pots. Don't get on. I don't see it. You just got back, Pots. Relax. Which one are we talking about? This one? I mean, it. I mean, it doesn't look bad. No, it looks great. It's like a damn controller. I mean, pretty accurate. Yeah, I thought. I thought you did. That's why I was like. That's why I thought for a second that you um, downloaded it. No, no offense. I just thought it was too good because I was like, I could never make that. Oh, nice pull, Sammy. Got a Louisville Slugger Diamond Bat, and I was logging back. <laughs> oh, very nice. It's awesome. Uh, name. Yeah, dude, that's awesome that you that sports gamer controller. <laughs> yeah, TSG controller. 
All right, guys. All right, guys. So that way, when people copy it and make like change one color on it and re-upload it. <laughs> well, no, the yours is. The... That's the name. Think about sweet hmm. pink one. Oh, why are you crying? What do you want? Cracks. I just lost, man. <laughs> Charlotte. Charlotte actually had. She lost big. You cost her, TJ. You cost her. Was this fun? Okay. Does this count as fantasy? Heroic? Fun? Real? Oh, Goofy? Um, basic? Complex? Scary? Throwback? I mean, you said it was tough to make, so you can go complex. Uh, what were the categories in the same slower? Uh, fun? Real? Goofy? Well, it's not real, because I think that means, like, Mets. Like, like a real made, team? like, an actual Mets logo. Yeah. Uh, basic? No basic over here. Complex? Scary? Throwback, tribute, fiction, fantasy, heroic. Tribute to the PlayStation guess, controller. I was gonna say complex. Yeah, probably complex. Done. So there's a lot of F and shapes. And there's probably like what, twenty five layers, or whatever in terms of like those little boxes. I think those are called layers. Uh, twenty. Well, gentlemen, I think I gotta get going because I gotta eat a little something. This was very good. Uh, Big Corn, uh, we can play another night because I'm going to call it a night after this. Uh, thank you guys all for coming out. Really appreciate it. Paul, thank you very much for being here. Thanks for having me on, guys. I really I really had a blast. I, I hope to be on at some point in season as well. Uh, yeah, so if you're going to come back for that home run derby, let's uh, make sure we uh, schedule that. We, yeah, we talk pretty much every day on, on Gchat, so we'll, uh, we'll get that hammered. I'm pretty sure I send you messages on Gchat and you're just like... I eventually respond. <laughs> yeah. You're good people. Uh, I, I try not to leave anything unresponded to, although the, the promptness call into question. Uh, that, that I will accept. Yep. Uh, so make sure you follow Spore on Twitter at S-P-O-R-E-R. Right? Yeah. Uh, you can also follow Chris at Millennium OS. You can follow me at That Sports Gamer. Uh, don't forget to follow us all on Twitch as well. Uh, Twitch.tv slash that sports gamer. Twitch.tv slash Operation Sports for Chris and his uh, Rockies franchise. And uh, Twitch.tv slash, what is it? PSP. P Spore 24. Yeah. P Spore 24. That if I had game. known that I was ever going to stream, I would have just made it the same as my Twitter. But when I first signed up to watch people, I did not ever think I. Uh, so definitely, definitely I, do that, guys. I know you, yeah, I know you give me hell on that, which that's it, 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 acceptable criticism. Well, nice your Twitter, your Twitch, matching. and your PSN are all different. I know. Very I, frustrating. Yes, that's pr it's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Uh, don't forget but, to tune in. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow night. Uh, Twitch.tv slash OOTP Developments. Uh, I'll be playing out of the park baseball over there. I am the community manager for that game. Uh, and then Thursday, Spore will be on walking off. I assume. I believe so. What's that? Twitch.tv slash Squarespace or Squarespace? Correct. TV? Yep. Squarespace, right. Uh, right. Squarespace. We might not be on until next week, though. I think it might be every other week. But yeah, it's every um, other Thursday. Stay tuned. Either way. Then come back here Thursday. I'll stream something for you guys. There you go. Uh, anybody else got anything to uh, things to say? Thanks for having me on, guys. Great yeah. talking to you. No, thanks. thanks for coming on. Appreciate yeah, thank it. Thank you for being here. Uh, take it easy, folks. <laughs>